the party had <sighs> found themselves in Castle Dyer after a rather dire encounter. Shut and <laughs> the up fuck. Shut the up fuck. Oh, Jason just texted fuck. me. Literally said arriving soon. Okay, well he'll just miss the first few minutes. Um, cold in your life. Find your <laughs> thanks. Find your, yourselves in Castle Dyer. You eventually made your way back to the main gate tavern to pick up your friend Zelfer, <laughs> friend, con whatever you want to fucking call him. Um, Hurtful. After making a couple of pit stops at the Cloaked Ranger's headquarters, you guys made your way back to Castle Dyer uh, to attempt to find whatever you can. Uh, coming out mostly with books and trinkets and more questions than answers after resourcefully using your abilities and magic to make your way past some heavy locked doors and <laughs> through some <laughs> through some hallways. A little bit of cheat sees. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but it was impressive. Um, you managed to make your way all the way up to the King's Archive and the Royal Bedchamber, where you found evidence of theft or some sort of destruction? You weren't quite sure, as a series of bad rolls didn't give you a lot. Um, you left Castle Dyer with some trinkets, some books, and some gold, which you had knocked down from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a decent amount of gold, at least. Oh, and of course, I almost forgot to mention, um, you did have a couple of interesting encounters with the Queen of Thieves along the way, showing her ability to disguise herself as whoever she'd like. Though you guys were quick to pick up on it. And now know of this ability. So? It's almost like she's fucking terrible at it. <laughs> well, to be fair, Six did have a really good uh, insight check on the first one. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been quite so obvious had you not figured it out originally. Um, or had he uh -huh. not. Anyway, we return to you guys. Leaving Castle Dyer, I believe, on your way back to the, the mill where the Ratlings and Malcolm uh, live, I suppose, or at least make camp for the time being. Uh, I believe you're going to visit Malcolm and the Ratlings and figure out what you were going to do next. So, that is where we return as you guys are stepping out of the castle with what little gains you have. It's about... Um, somebody roll me a d12, and it is about Dibs. noon or one. Dibs. Oh. Nope. Damn, you got it. You got he got it. He got it first. Uh, let me check my table. Oh, okay. You're, um, you're funnier than 24. There is actually 25. <laughs> there is actually a hint of sunlight peeking through some of the clouds. Is it? Oh, for screams, not knowing what sunlight is. <laughs> it's um a little startling, actually, as you guys don't see much sunlight around here. Mostly just a shimmering light through dark clouds, but there's wow, a little I bit of sunlight. I wish I had emotions to be happy about this. <laughs> so. Hey, can I real quick tell you how fucking dumb League is for what just happened? What just happened? I uh, played it. I was in a game of Earth. It bug splatted the entire client. I had to restart my entire computer. Yeah. I uh, switched Discord on my phone. Nobody actually noticed that, which was interesting because I thought it did the noises. I didn't hear anything. Um, and then it put me in a login queue to get back into my own game. Wait. And Lever busted me. Uh huh. Epic. Well, now you can focus on D and D. Oh no, this was before D and D. Oh, okay. I was like rude, but all right. Not. Nah. So, you guys are leaving Castle Dyer. It's fuck actually a little bit of ranked. sun. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, there's a little <laughs> bit of sunlight peeking through the clouds, just barely. Just enough for a few for a few rays, and uh, it's a, you would guess one or two, one between noon and two. It's not, it's an early afternoon. So what are you guys gonna do? Try to catch some rays. <laughs> you can try. Sulfur <laughs> bursts into flames. Sulfur <laughs> reaches his hand out, trying to grasp the sunlight. <laughs> Finds out Mr. he's a vampire. It Mr. burns. Percy. Mr. Percy. Yes? I got a ring! I pull out a necklace. That 
does not look That's like a ring. That's not... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Rings are, uh, <laughs> finger materials. <laughs> I just extend it to you a little bit more. It's pretty! And I put it on. Okay. Um... Do I look pretty? I'm inclined to say no because I'm a straight male. We are walking pretty straight right now. I don't know, I think you're still kind of creepy looking. Speaking of, give you guys the map so you can show me your... Alright, is that the, still the plan? Would you guys like to head back to the mill? I'm gonna be real with you. The person normally in charge of these decisions... <laughs> <laughs> Is gone. Uh, is not currently here. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we figured out everything to do for me, so yeah, let's head off to the mill. So we are... six degrees. Yeah, off to the mill. Let's let's go see Malcolm. <sighs> oh yeah, Malcolm. Okay, so let's go. Let's um, would somebody who who's gonna be leading this? Um, if Percy has the map, he will. Sure, Percy has the map. Uh, why don't you draw me a path? From... So we're going to the tower? Yeah, you are going to number nine, Hopkins Mill. Gotcha. You're from going from one, one to nine. You are going across your map. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I'd like to climb all of the building. <laughs> no, we need to go in a straight line, guys. Trust me. <laughs> um. So. Noom. The plaza still has those two giant fucking statues that tried to murk us, right? Um. You have not seen it for a while. Gotcha. Oh God, it's loose. As in, you um, have not seen the plaza. Okay. We just go this way and then loop around yeah. the map. Uh, we were trying up. to avoid Ground Zero, right? What's that? Uh, wasn't the party trying to avoid Ground Zero? Generally, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if we just go around... <laughs> <laughs> Loop the map, man, like Pac-Man. <laughs> some reason, a weird, like, kind of rocky mountain range starts, and it just abruptly ends and becomes a forest. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I, I realized I could have cut some off by doing this, actually. Okay. So you're going so to take uh, the northern road, passing by this gate, heading, uh, kind of circling around the ruins near Ground Zero, following this brown dotted path. You're going to go across the bridge. Uh, this is wall over here. That's a wall. Oh. But why? Because the city proper is surrounded by a large wall. Can you make it not wall? I can, but I won't. <laughs> Wait, here's a better question. Can you make it not wall? I can go over Because then you wall. can certainly you could certainly try, yeah. I don't oh, know that. that you guys have scaled the walls before. So then it would be getting rid of that. Okay. <laughs> this is such a mess. <laughs> You're clear it, not redraw it. Okay. Oh. I know this seems slightly silly, but it does matter what streets you take. The uh, streets that are the easiest. I, I realized like I accidentally ran along the wall there, but I, I meant to go like back. No, that's understood. Okay. Because that, that's a gate, right? Okay, so for that, I'm passing through. I need... Doesn't matter mm. who. I need two D6s Not and a... a D8 rolled. I dibs on the D8. Doesn't matter who. I'll roll one d6 then. Okay, Eden, I won. I need one d6 from you. Okie dokie. Hard to choke you. <sighs> man in, man in, man in. Something may or may not hop it happen depending on the. Oh, okay. Um. Then the it leader, definitely whoever's happens, leading this, I need a perception check from you. Uh, you uh, the first few right. hours of your walk, as you're kind of reaching the middle of the city, um, around where I'm about to ping here, as you're kind of reaching this area, um, it goes pretty much without any anything not not noteworthy or um, interesting. Uh, but then, 
eventually you hear as you're walking the streets rub just rubble and destroyed uh, homes to your left here and on the other side of the street some buildings still somewhat intact you hear some what sounds like rumbling just about a hundred feet to your left in the rubble sounds like maybe something falling over and then some yelps and then silence. I teleport over to like Professor Membrane. <laughs> not, not scientifically possible. possible. No, I'm kidding. What does the party do? Um, I'm investigating that shit. Yeah, I should probably go check that out. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go delve into the ruins. Hell yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, six degrees. Yeah, guys, we should probably check that out. Uh, he's you're gonna so you start moving your way into the rubble, kind of stepping over, uh, large stone pieces and uh wood logs and 14 <laughs> <laughs> kind That's of making see, are you trying to be quiet making your way over um uh, no one told me to be so now no nah, percival wouldn't be. okay you guys percival? kind of start <laughs> casually moving without saying anything you guys look we should check this out okay you start moving into the rubble a little bit um and you hear a couple more Sharp yelps, like high pitched yelps. Kind of like, I... kind of low. <laughs> and, I... and then you hear some some kind of familiar chittering, oh, similar God, to the rattlings. No. And, oh, we should has... speed up a bit. I'm gonna move into a, like a speed walk. <laughs> you guys start speed walking over. You're about 20 feet away at this point. You, you kind of round a corner of rubble, and you see ahead of you. It looks like. Two lar fairly large ratlings are kind of hunched over something, and the sound of the yelps they'll call, ah, 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 is coming from beyond them. It, it looks like they're hunched over something, and there's still kind of dust in the air. It, it, it seems as though perhaps a piece of rubble fell, or they pulled it down, and there's, that's what the large rumbling was, was something falling. There's dust in the air. And, not just the hysterium, and two rattlings just kind of hunched over something. Seem to be digging at it, maybe. Oh God! You're about twenty feet away. They don't <laughs> seem to have noticed Hello! you just yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, they certainly notice you now. And the two, the two rattlings immediately. Well, one of them holding a spear. The other, there's a spear on the ground, um, very crudely made. It's literally like a mostly sharpened rock at the end of a long stick. They kind of look back, look at each other, you know, <laughs> and they, they, <laughs> seeing that there's uh, four of you, they scatter. One runs to the left, one runs to the, one runs to the right, revealing they, they, they just started running, so if you'd like to do something, I suppose you can. Revealing just what they were looking down at appears to be a crushed underneath some rubble, another rattling a bit smaller than they. And it's it, it, alive? It, it's, a, it's certainly alive as it looks over at you guys, kind of approaching now, and he goes, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, Since Percival's in the group, he's going to reach down and free him. So you let the two ratlings run away, and you're just gonna calmly walk up to the the one that's trapped. Yeah, I don't have any weapons out, so. Okay. Um, with disadvantage, he's gonna attempt to bite you, as you kind of reach down to start to lift the rubble. Uh, that is gonna be a 14 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have one. a 13. I'm wow. fucking shirtless. So as you reach down to grab the rubble and just kind of start pulling it up. Uh, you feel a sharp pain in your wrist as you take four piercing damage and the rattling bites down into your wrist and starts kind of thrashing about in fear. Do you want me to save you or not? <laughs> I know James. He's my friend. If you see him again after I save you, tell him I say hello. This poor thing is wide-eyed and terrified. And Can it's I got its teeth sunk, sunk into you. Can I try and use charm person to um, calm him down? You can try. God, I'm not wearing pants dick. right now. It's fucking awesome. So you might want to know, Blake. Is that a wisdom saving throw? Uh, for my pants being off, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I fail. I automatically fail that check. I'm immediately aroused. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... Crave it. That's the name for my, uh, my dick. It is wisdom? Crave. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, 15 DC. <laughs> Well, it rolled a 5 minus 2, so it is charmed. Epic. If you'd like to... Uh, let me see here. Charm person. Oh, then I love how weak Why is it strength? Are. What the fuck? 
you are not very good one muscle. muscle. All she has for the description under charm person for her spell is look titties. <laughs> so I need to know exactly what charm person does here. Okay, you um attempt to charm uh ooh ooh Durat likes countess humanoids. Yes, these okay, do. Okay, good. These ones you do. Can, <laughs> you attempt to charm a humanoid. You can see within range. It must make a wisdom save. Yep. Yep. Does so with advantage if you or your companions are fighting it, which mm. I don't think if it's if if it attacked us, if I am not we didn't back. attack it. It considers itself to be in combat right now. I'm gonna give it advantage. Okay. <laughs> okay, that time was an eight minus two, so no, it still very much okay. fails. <laughs> it is um if it fails, it's charmed by you until the end of the spell, which is uh, which is up to an hour. Or until you or your companions do anything to harm it. The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. And when the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. Okay. Okay. So it's, uh... In that case, it kind of looks up with its teeth still digging into Percival's wrist as he's kind of just hunched over, like, trying to lift this rubble off of it. It looks over to you, men, and, and its eyes kind of relax a little bit. And it... And it Seems to sort of speak a bit, but all you hear is as as its teeth are embedded in Percival's Ava, wrist. We're here to help you. Would you mind letting go so my friend can get the rubble off of you? <laughs> it very slowly releases its jaws from your wrist and looks up at you. You see that that tinge of fear again, and it just keeps its eyes focused on Menon. Help! 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 That's what we're here for. Alright, Percy, you can lift now. I lift. Okay, uh, make a strength check for me. Well, it I wasn't don't very lift hard. Very well, no, but... yeah, the, the the DC was ten. Uh, you you, it, you kind of struggle a little bit, um, but you pull it up, and is the moment you get it like a few inches higher than when it was, the rattling immediately starts to skitter and run away, as he's really. Go to tell James I say hey. And he's gone. Oh, okay. then check my flaws. I catch him. <laughs> six, are you gonna run Jeez, after him? Six? <laughs> yes. I, I run after the rattling. Do you actually? Holden. Uh, yeah. Wait, Holden, check. check my flaws. Your flaws? This was put in there after the James thing. Uh. Is that under background? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's adorable. Okay. What is it? Uh, Rattlings are Percy's best friend. He refuses to harm any of them. Oh, that's adorable. So, uh, six. Kobolds, though. Kobolds are fine. Those oh, things kind of got day. a little head start. It's injured, and you're much, much faster than it. You're easily able to catch up with it about 20 feet away. You guys watch six okay. just bolts after it. <laughs> Wait, six, what the let fuck? us help you. You're injured. You know the Rat King. <laughs> you're kind of saying friend. this at, like, a jogging pace as, as it's trying to, it's, like, desperately trying to run away from you. <laughs> You're kind of jogging next to it. Now. Wait, no, we get up. We're friends. He's, like, ah, ah, ah. He's running away. We, we won't harm you. I uh, I attempt to sort of get in front of him and jog backwards while he's running. <laughs> okay, um, make a general charisma check. The image okay. of this in my head is fucking beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah me too. I'm coming. I'm I'm too. Your cage. Oh, and also a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Or... Will you take performance? No, actually, it wouldn't be a saving throw. I'm sorry. Uh, just a uh, acrobatics check. Acrobatics and, and uh, general charisma. Sorry, I'm having you roll a bunch. But this is uh... Acrobatics, general charisma. Yep, yep. Where is my character sheet? Come on. Okay. Acrobatics. Does that work? I don't see any of that. Would you like for me to just roll it for you? Quick or? Uh, I have it. Right. Oh wait, there there's it. acrobatics. Oh, pff, okay. That's Percival. That's Percival. What? That was Percival. Right. I see. That's oh, now you're acrobatic. acrobatic. That's two acrobatics checks now. Oh, sorry. I think they were just okay. lagging behind. I think you did it and then uh, rolled say, twenty. I did not. I think that's not you. That's probably roll twenty. So just give me that general charisma. Right. So you guys watch as uh, as six is kind of jogging next to this this rattling, just sprinting for its life. He kind of gets in front of it and starts jogging backwards through the rubble, just kind of very quickly glancing behind him every now and then, hopping over large planks and just generally. Uh, I need yeah. I need a charisma. That was a dex. Just sorry. Almost, almost, uh, eerily, just 
as if he can see behind him, just jumping over rubble and debris as he's running in front of this rattling now. And he's trying to be calm, but in his jogging state, this he's running about as fast as he can backwards. And and the rattling is just, <laughs> it's, it turns around and starts running back toward Menon. <laughs> <laughs> friend, 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 help, friend, help. All right. And it runs up to you, Menon. <laughs> All right. As soon as he gets within range of me, I'm going to use um, healing word. Okay. okay. Go ahead and roll the healing. And by the way, uh, Roll 20's been real laggy for me, so if it takes a while, know that I actually did click it. It's just taken a while for it to... um do the fucking thing because it's a piece of shit epic <laughs> oh, okay got it i mean it's it's <laughs> to a rattling that's a lot <laughs> yeah I, that's why i only use yeah. as it, as it's uh, as this little rattling is running towards you, you you see it's it's um it's sprint go from a kind of left-legged hobble to a, a full-on sprint and it's it gains five uh, feet more of movement and, and it feeling, you know, kind of sensing what you had just done, rushes up and jumps into your armsman. <laughs> it is maybe will, three feet tall. It's not a big rally. I will, I will cradle him like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of freaking out. He's being cradled. He's looking around at all the other people, and he looks up at you. Fred, 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 Fred help, help, help. It's all right. Oh, I'll make a we're note. all friends, I promise. That after Percy lifted the rubble, he just sat down cross-legged. Okay. And six, you can very easily make it back to you, to them in this time. Yeah, just following the rattling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this scene of you were jogging by. Hey, hey, it's okay. Running in front of it backwards <laughs> through all this rubble and debris. Hey, hey, no, it's fine. And then it turns around and runs away. And you're like, okay. You just start running forward again. <laughs> easily keeping up with it the entire time. Uh, uh, yeah. As I was saying, we, we are friends of the Rat King. We're, we're not kind to be... Of cocks his head at you at the mention of Are Rat with, King. Uh, I think, judging by how afraid he was of us, that he's not with the Rat King. He doesn't know oh. us. How long does Charm Prison work? Did, was it one hour? An hour. Oh boy, okay, yeah. Okay. The Ratling seems confused and scared and is kind of just clutching on the men in. Uh, do you require food? It's eyes wide. Food, 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 oh, food, 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 food. I will pull some cheese from my backpack. Oh. And I will toss a hunk over to him. He catches it midair, kind of almost jumping out of your out of your arms, but and he starts just <laughs> just <laughs> devouring it. Are you feeling better? Not paying any mind to you, just eating the cheese. Okay. All right. Uh. <laughs> You know, we uh, we have a hideout where a number of your brethren live. Um, would you be interested in, in coming to meet them? <laughs> Finishes the cheese and looks over at you with his hands still kind of like cupped in each other. Friend, 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 He says kind of like calling out in different directions. Yeah, yeah, your friends. We could, we could go see them anytime you want. They left you. Mm, me, uh... Six, at this point, maybe 15 feet behind you, you hear some, some clambering on some of the rubble. Oh. Oh. You guys can uh, see peeking over, around. there's a not-so-stealthy rattling kind of holding a spear, looking like he's about to throw it at you guys. Very Trying to look sneaky, but very much not. Hey, come on down. I motion to him. We're just <laughs> having some peace. And he throws the spear at you, Six. <laughs> oh, okay. It's going to be a 14 to hit, which I know does not hit you. <laughs> Does not hit it, okay. Yeah, so the spear just kind of lands at your feet. And goes, ah, ah, six should have ah. caught it. I go uh, over there I, and grab six it. Six could have caught it. <laughs> I try to uh, I try to toss a hunk of cheese up to him. <laughs> See, this is going to be really weird because okay. I just refer to these things as humanoids, but I need you to make an animal handling check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is happening. I'm take <laughs> God damn it. I'm taking the spear, by the way. Okay, you now have a uh, terrible rattling spear. How much damage would it do? One d four. Probably more to you if you wield it. <laughs> yeah. Strength. Uh, uh, I believe spears can be strength or dex based, but this one is rather small. Um, as a rattling wields it, it's it's maybe 
it's three feet long. It's an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a long arrow, really. Um, I am not with that, proficient. With that animal handling check, Six very, very carefully pulls off another hunk of cheese, tosses it in the air with a with a perfect arc. The the the, the rattling kind of stares up at it, starts wringing his fingers, oh, 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 and grabs it, and then kind of just climbs down from the rubble and starts demolishing it the same way the first one did. Just <laughs> is kind of sitting ten oh. feet away from you guys, just demolishing that cheese. Are you two alone out here? I imagine that there are probably more. Do you suppose there was a raid or something? Possibly. Um, what we can you tell us? probably check and make sure that our our um, ally rattlings are okay as well. It would be good to go back and check. It's been a while. Mm, that's what we're doing. And the Excellent. one that the one that is charmed, man, and looks up at you and goes, "Ally rat, ally rat, rat," nodding. I'm going to give him a little right. pat on the head. He gives a if, little smile. Uh, yeah. If there are any more of you out here, uh, let them know. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and and go see your friends. The one eating the the cheese right now is paying no mind to you, but the one that uh, is enamored with Menon kind of slowly steps down and is standing on his hind legs with his uh, two front paws kind of tapping against each other and looking up at all of you. <laughs> Friend, 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 and he runs over to his friend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. And they begin chittering at each other. The one that is uh, charmed is seems quite pacified. The other one looks angry, and every now and then, amongst the chittering, kind of looks over at you guys with a with a like a glare. <laughs> but just, they're chittering back and forth with little bits of broken common in there every now and then. <laughs> Uh, do, do you guys know James? <laughs> They're paying no mind to you at this point. <laughs> or, okay, well. They're about ten feet away, chittering at each other, and at this point, the third kind of comes out from the shadows. This one much stealthier oh. and kind of walks over to its friends, keeping a spear pointed at you guys. I oh, point the cheese. spear. Uh, I, put the, I take the spear, and I kind of, it's made of, like, Flimsy wood, right? Oh yeah, it's like wet wood that's barely held together in a a, a, a kind of sharpened rock. <laughs> I look at the one with a spear and just break the other spear in half and drop it. <laughs> As you <laughs> make an intimidation check, <laughs> just kind of this whole <laughs> go fuck yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes, so <laughs> Zelfer takes a spear. And with a, like a wet thud, breaks it over his knee. It's not very hard. And to you guys, it's comical how he kind of makes his grimace. He's like, kind trying to be scary. But to the rattling, it's horrifying. <laughs> he runs over to his friends and gathers them up. And they, <laughs> and they run away. Be nice. Uh. <laughs> there you go. I run after them. <laughs> Do you actually... Yes. Okay. You're, oh God, six. Oh you're God. easily able to catch up with them, and as you start running after them, you guys can hear about twenty feet away behind some rubble, just <laughs> as they're all like freaking out, running away from six. Guys, wait, hold on. We we mean you no harm. We we were injured and hungry. We thought we could help. We 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 know a lot of rattlings. You're saying this at a, jo a jogging pace as they're all running away from you. Eventually, they scamper underneath some rubble that you probably aren't going to be able to fit under. Alright, I'll stand there for a second and I'll say, come on, man. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll leave this cheese here and uh, you guys have good lives because we're probably going to die without our help. Alright, bye! And I turn around <laughs> and go back to my party. Make another general charisma check. Sure. <laughs> Okay. You don't hear any response, and eventually Six All returns right. to you guys, seeming probably mildly irritated. <laughs> I didn't want to hang out. I think they were rogue. Can't make friends with everyone. I mean, you can try, though. We did, and failed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, not exactly. Well, There's gonna be one really pissed off rattling in about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see yeah. the other rats! All right, I start. I start leaving a tiny trail of cheese crumbs. Mm. How much cheese did you fall. initially buy? 
I had that wheel. What's you had a wheel? Okay. I had a wheel, and Bess had been eating it in my backpack. Bess has been eating it. You fed some to the ratlings. Now, if you, I'm gonna say you could totally leave a trail of like you know with 20 feet apart with just little crumbs, just enough to okay. be detected by something that would be very interested in cheese. But it will use up the rest of the cheese if you want to. I'll do go that. ahead and do it. Okay. I'll go ahead and do it. Just just for you know, just for being friendly and whatnot. Cheese rather hard now. Um. I assume, I mean, in your downtime, six is probably cutting off any mold, any unhealthy mold on it every now and then yeah, to yeah. keep best. Yeah, okay. um, but what, what remains, you kind of crumble, it kind of crumbles off, and you leave a, a, a very, um, a, a not so obvious trail, but to something that would be very interesting in cheese, you could probably follow it, and that, that is going to use the rest of your cheese. At first, okay. when he starts doing this, I start picking up, you drop this, <laughs> you drop this, uh, you thought, <laughs> drop this. I'm, I'm, leaving a, I'm leaving a trail so that Potentially, those ratlings could find their way to the other ratlings. Uh, so I was hoping that they could, you know, use oh, the Oh, okay. I, I, I go, wait here. I go back and place the four chunks I picked back up. <laughs> Come back and give a thumbs up. Yeah. All right. Uh, as okay. you guys pass through the northern gate uh, of Direwood, uh, leaving the hysterium filled city, um, the sun sets. And in the last leg of your journey, crossing the bridge, reaching the Hopkins Mill, um, you, you would estimate it's maybe eight, nine. It's it's uh, getting to be the middle of the night here. Uh, but as you arrive, like as you arrive, um, you are greeted with the usual immediate hostility, and then uh, immediately following. Uh, rem memory, I'm like oh oh, you friend, you friend. From the from the front guards. Hello, welcome. Uh, I let them know that there might be a couple of other ratlings uh, approaching, possibly, um, and to uh, to treat them nicely if they if they if they come in and if they deserve to. <laughs> Am I still holding the other one? No. <laughs> no. No. Okay, I figured. I so thought it jumped Percy. out of my arms. But... So you're, you're telling this to the front guards? Yes. Just, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, at the mention of other ratlings, they kind of look at you and go, uh, uh, "Other? There are more?" Uh, we ran into three of them. Where, 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 where they go, brothers? They I point <laughs> that way. <laughs> they were, they were afraid. They were by themselves, and they thought that we were a threat, no matter how we tried to convince them that we were not. However, uh, I did. I have left a small trail. Uh, of cheese crumbs that they will be able to follow if they so choose. The the two larger, uh, you would be speaking to these two, and they, they kind of look to each other with a confused expression. They don't really seem to know how to process this. Okay, alright. Um, you have any questions? Go, go ahead and come ask. Uh, uh, others? Um, uh, several. Several more. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we the rats. We chosen by Rat God. We the rats. Uh, yes, you are the rats. Yes, Very yes, good. rats. Yes, yes. Chosen. All right. Chosen. <laughs> and uh, if you find any other chosen rats, just you know, be cool. We don't find. We here. Um. Okay. So we found some more of you out there. My point. They they look at each other. Who who miss who missing who? I have a feeling you haven't met these rats. They look at each other completely dumbfounded again. <laughs> okay. You can we tell you're blowing their minds Marcus. right now. <laughs> okay. We will we will go tell Marcus. Tell Mar Mar Marcus yes 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 Marcus King 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 Rat yes ha yes 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 okay. yes go go tell Marcus yes. All right. We go inside. Okay, so you guys <laughs> head down to the basement, uh, which you haven't been to for uh, quite a while. This is true. As um, I pass the tables, yes. I point at them in minor illusion. A small rat just sitting there. And I just walk away. Uh, um, you realize this is not out of place in the slightest. Nope. Okay, <laughs> you may... But I, I want to try to make it appear in front of them so they see me just point at a rat up here. <laughs> oh, no. Are you 
trying to hide that you're making you know, it doesn't fucking matter, actually. They're not that... Okay, so you... <laughs> you kind of just point, and a small rat appears, and they b both look at each other. Oh, 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 the ratling, the rat, emissaries, rat god. Oh, and they start bowing at you. Emissaries, emissaries, emissary. And, uh, wait, uh, is everyone else past me at this point? Uh, Heading downstairs? I want to wait until everyone's gone. If they allow it, yeah. We feel like we can do alone with Oh my god. Nice angle. I just, I, 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 I want to talk. I want to learn. I won't hurt them, I promise. Oh, Velfer, you did. You realize it damaged our friendship. <laughs> exactly why I wouldn't do it. Thank you, Zelfer. And I leave him be. Okay. <laughs> I lean in close to the rats. I point at that one and go, as the rat god gives, I snap and it vanishes. The rat god takes. <laughs> Make a performance check. <laughs> Would you take performance? I absolutely will, as I asked for it. Boom, baby! Alright. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> as six. you do so, all the, there's about six ratlings in your general vicinity. All of them, oh, 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 and you hear some general chittering, and they all start kind of swaying. In that original manner that, not you, but you guys, the players, uh, saw them the first time you met them. They're, oh, 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 rat card, and start kind of doing some weird chittering chant. I love them so Absolutely much. enamored with your with your magic that they do not realize this is, is so magic. much better than killing them. And they, they all start kind of joining in this weird dissonant hymn. Nice. Welcome back, back Isaac. Here. Thanks. I, uh, dinner kicked my ass. It ripped, uh, my intestines were like, nope, we're, we're done. Yep. Mm. He like, Alright, <laughs> I'm about to clock yeah. out, bud. So, just to bring you up to speed, you guys have made it to oh, the no. mill. Oh, no, I was in chat the whole time. Oh, good, okay. Um, I was just muted. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so... For... Did you not get my <laughs> messages? No, I saw them, I just, I didn't realize that you'd be actively listening. I also, uh, oh. at the point where we walked in, I would have asked, is James here? Oh, James would have run up and, and started kind of like Hell grabbing yeah, on your dude. leg. Can I put him on my shoulders? Absolutely, you can put James on I'm your shoulder. I'm gonna put him on my shoulders. James is on your shoulder, and he's big yeah. chilling with I you. Bump him. He he, <laughs> he gives a weird kind of knuckle bump. You've you've I, done I this teach enough. I him what a knuckle bump is. Yeah, you you've done it a couple times before. He seems confused at first and goes, oh, and and then does like a little slap. Nice. And as uh, Zelfer has waited for the rest of you guys to head down first, um, I'm going to bring, bring the three of you down to the basement. And as you come down, it looks about the same as what you left it. Um, Gerd is actually, Gerd at this point would be standing guard right in front of you. Standing uh, guard. Uh, standing guard. Um, Malcolm, as you kind of start to walk in, you can see over at the bar is. It looks about six drinks in. Oh. Uh, and six, you would recognize that's your <laughs> brew that you left Malcolm here. Drinks in. He is oh. drinking your brew. That's fine, I think. Uh, hey, hey, Gerd. Gerd. All right. Uh, is he not let us by? No, he's not moving. Uh, Malcolm. You hear, you very faintly hear a snap of a finger, and and Gerd, Gerd steps aside. All right. You guys hey, can feel free to uh, move your tokens. What the? What Malcolm the, what? is hunched over at the bar, like hand bar face buried in one hand, and a in a in a a uh, a cup in the other. And he just slams one back and slams it onto the bar. He's just mm, washing his face too. in his hand. Uh, at this point, right. Zelfer, you do come down as well. It, uh, you, you okay there, buddy? Yeah, I, 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 I lost him. I lost him. You lost who? I, 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 I lost, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he kind of, like, slumps over and starts to pass out on the table. <laughs> no, and he kind of no, wakes up with God. a jolt. Oh, I, oh, I'm so, oh, I, he reaches for his cup oh. and takes a sip from an empty cup and kind of jiggles a bit and he goes, "What you, that you made is very strong." 
His hair is just a fucking mess. His clothes are all over the place. Uh, let me get you another one. Like he's naked? No, like his clothes are like oh, he's usually put. Yeah, yeah so he's usually very naked. well put together. Uh, but he's just disheveled right now. Mm -hmm. What happened? Um, Zelfer, you would come down to see this as well. I kind of look over, walk by Gerd, touch his butt. Or she doesn't know who. Uh, you touch his butt. Does. You've met him once. Did I? Yeah, because yeah, I've I've met yeah. him. Uh, this is one of the first places you guys went after they picked you up. Yeah. You met oh, him briefly for sure. Right. You that's would. You are right. aware of Malcolm. Yeah. Malcolm. All right. Well, I'm gonna sit at a table and. Uh, sit at a table. Is there a deck of cards? Mm, unless I'm forgetting something, no. Damn. Can I don't. I, make a deck I don't. Of cards? Do you have a deck of cards? I don't. If I forgot to add my equipment again because I've been out of town. Uh, that is not a, a part of standard equipment. I don't think Percy would have a deck of cards. No. Okay. Shit. No, there's no deck of cards. Fuck. Is it like a chessboard? No. Is there there's any just kind a of strong game scent of alcohol. Fuck. Is there like a slip and slide? <laughs> Could you at least roll to see if there is a slip and slide? You can go ahead and roll and see if there's a slip and slide. What and happened? What do you mean you lost to them? Hey, you're, you're, um, the buddy, buddy, uh, oh god, I, uh, I, uh, he's just, he's got both hands on his face now. The rat. Um, Marcus? The, that one, that one, he leans back and just kind of dizzy and almost falls off his stool and he kind of picks himself back up. Mar Marcus. Marcus. Mark the did, ratty rat. Did you mean that lose him as in you can't find him or lose him as in... No, no, I, I promised I wouldn't. No. He... he uh, the... the tower. Uh, uh. What? Tower? And he falls unconscious. I pour water on him. It's oh, a Yes. Yeah. Hey, you were in the middle of a story. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. He kind of reaches for a cup that isn't there, and then looks around, bleary-eyed. And you, Where? The, the cup that you had brought him, he reaches for. All right. It's full of water. It's full of water. Yes. He drinks it, seemingly not even noticing that it's not alcoholic. <laughs> I'll refill it. Where is our friend? Uh, he, um, gifts, G gifts for you, um, he has the he lab, gifts? his, oh, his table. Okay, he left us some potions on his table. Uh. Where is he? Um, Marcus, oh, God, and he kind of, like, leans back again. This time, I'm gonna make him, he's gonna roll a deck save. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he falls back. He falls onto his back, onto the floor, off the stool, with a loud crash, and he's... Oh! Oh! oh. Wow. This uh, fucking video is great. You're a mess. He is this normally very refined Malcolm. He's, he's put together. It's just a fucking mess on the floor. <laughs> Malcolm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't care. Where's Marcus? I... He, um... Uh, they took him. They took him. Who is they? The f uh, the bat uh, guild. Uh, Mage's guild took Marcus. No, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Why? You don't uh, know who? He was. Uh, God, my head. Oh. Marcus, <sighs> you need to be a little bit more forthcoming. Would I know if cast if if um healing him would lessen the drunkenness? Make an Arcana check. That's pure poison. That's technically it, but... Hey, Blake. Need to check. Yeah? Would a blood curse of purgation get rid of a hangover? I'd have to look at it. I think that would be funny. Uh, what spell are you specifically thinking of, Menon? Uh... Or what series of spells? Uh, probably... Um, that's just the two that I have, which are, um, Healing Word and Cure Wounds. Okay, uh... I know Cure Wounds probably wouldn't. You would know... Like, out of meta. 
No, no. You you would know that it would certainly help with any inflammation. It might get rid of his headache if he has one. He, he's holding his head right now. It might help with the pain in his back from falling back. You're not so sure if it'll help with anything having to do with the alcohol, though. Or, you know, you know with his uh, non-mental presence. All right. You're not well, sure. Then, then I'll save my spell slots. Okay. He's kind of just on the ground holding his head, and you actually uh, you see one tear fall down from his left eye, and he's like, oh, God. Wow, if only I could feel sympathy. <laughs> Who? Marcus? I'm sorry. Alpha? So, bye, Jason. Hello. Hello. No, I said bye, Jason. Oh, bye. Why? Oh, you, just get, you sound like you're further away from your mic is all. Oh, no, sorry. No connection problems oh, so far. Now you're inside okay. your mic. Uh, yes. You're good. Uh, You're good. Thank you. So, <laughs> what? Wizards came? I think. Uh, you think? Uh, uh, tell us what you, you know. know. I never got to tell him that I thought he was a friend. Oh, God, he's going to die. Can I slap spare. him? You can certainly. <laughs> Do I have to roll for it? Yeah, go ahead. What's that? Do you have to? You do not have to. Uh, you know what? You have to roll a hit, but <laughs> I'm gonna lower his DC, and you have advantage because he's prone. <laughs> if you nat one this and slap the ground, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna lower his AC temper. <laughs> it. Yeah. You, you're gonna. Yeah. You have advantage. So you kind of lean down. How, where are you slapping him? Just across the face. Across the face. And your hand gets a like, little... Nice and hard. Oh, nice and hard. Your hand gets a little wet as you, like, pull for some tear from his cheek. Just... He, and there's just a... Psh, and he's like, oh, God, oh, And kind of starts to... out of it. He starts to stumble up. He's like, the fucking... He points at... He points at... Uh... <laughs> he points at Zelfer. He goes, his, his brew is really strong. I can't... I can't help it. Alright. We either need to leave now with the information we have, or we need to let him sober up. Either one of those. Well, we have no idea where to go, and we don't even know the tower. for sure what... You're right. He starts vomiting on, my, on himself on the floor. I, I roll him over so he doesn't choke to death. Yeah. So there's just vomit on the ground. And he passes out again. Okay. Uh, what a gamer move. Yeah, we just have to sit here and wait. Let him... Spew chunks himself. Let him sober up, because... I really feel like more information would be good. Unfortunately, I think that's probably the case. Uh, does any... Does anyone have any sort of cure poison or anything on them? At all? I have some questionable rations. That's probably not gonna help, Zelfer. My spells will probably only help with the pain and not the actual problem. <laughs> I have right. an idea. What? Yeah. He did say there's a bunch of presents for us. I'm gonna just start dumping those in his mouth. That sounds like a bad idea. Would James uh, tell me about anything? Uh, James on your shoulder, he seems to just be kind of happy chilling with you guys. Um, would you, you could ask. <clears throat> I would ask him what the vials are. Marcus Brew. He nods smiling. Marcus Brew. Uh, yeah. Now I have one. Uh, I, I, uh. Take one. See what happens. They're pretty uh, fun. I recommend only taking a small sip, though, because there's about a 50-50 chance it's horrible poison. I'm going to take one. How many are there? Um, if you guys head into the cave um, and uh, find his little alchemy lab, you would find four. As you've been gone for a little bit. Well... And in a, oh. <laughs> actually, if you're specifically looking over there, you'd also find a little note um, written in terribly broken common. But basically, it kind of looks like it says, For Human Frond. 
that's adorable, actually. All right. That is well, really take adorable. One. Okay, six has one. I would also take one. All right. yep, is I'll each of you just going to take one? Okay, yeah, you each have one of Marcus's potions. I wouldn't touch it, so. Okay, then there's well, one left I'll over. Take the, I'll All take right. the bonus. I look over to six. Person. And I raise my vial to him. Yeah. Uh, good luck. <laughs> can we dink? Can we dink vials six? Uh, I, I mean, once once they're gone, they're gone. I was gonna save mine for you know when there was no other option. You can just like take a small sip of it and just get a like a very limited idea of what it does, I guess. Or well, Zelfer could cast identify. Oh. This is new. This is new. You're right. Hey, Zalfer. I, I pull out one of the faintly glowing arrows I have in my inventory and start cast identify. <laughs> I down the vial. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay. All right, I need a couple things. First, uh, I need you to tell me where you got that faintly glowing arrow. Or do you have uh... any notes next to it? Usually when I give you an item that you don't know about, I tell you to make like a note in parentheses next to it. You it's, it's literally a... told me to name them faintly glowing arrows. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig in my notes a little bit to find what it, what it was. Um, <laughs> was it faintly glowing because of your uh, detect magic spell? No, it was, this was before I started using it as often as I did. Uh, do, you don't remember where you got them either. Not a chance. Fuck. This is the 21st thing on my list. Ah, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig around in my notes. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Percy, roll a d100. Here we go. Hey, well then, if you remember looking at my flaws, you can see why I did that. Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay. Five, <baby. laughs> okay. I like I like sixes roll. Are you just downing it? <laughs> yeah. All my friends. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Percy, you 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 take the vial and just start guzzling it. It tastes fucking delicious. Like. Like a rich chocolate cake. It's phenomenal. Like, you know those chocolate lava cakes? Hell yeah. It's delicious. And um, you feel very full. You feel like you've just eaten a full meal. Your belly is, like, happy full. Like, oh, that was good. And then you kind of catch a whiff of the vial as you uh, as it lowers. And it smells like fucking wet dog. It smells disgusting. But it was the most one of the most delicious things you've ever consumed. And you were once royalty, so... May I ask what that was? No. In, no? Okay. Yeah. No. I didn't think so, but it was worth a shot. Yep. Um, digging through At my one notes point, here. It was possible to identify it. Uh, <laughs> your cat's it is no longer able to do that. That is true. I could cut my stomach open. Uh, what's not? Okay. Oh, Sam. Uh, oh, I know what these. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Huh? Okay. Um, and how many of these arrows do you have? Three. Perfect. Um, uh, taking the time to cast identify, uh, you can only you can have to do one at a time because they're each something different. Then I'm. <laughs> Why the fuck are they all different? <laughs> but okay, <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thirty minutes. Yeah, I got nothing but time. Uh, for the sake of expediency, I will tell you right now. Uh, what you can gather from your identify spell, um, is that each of them is an elemental arrow of some kind. Uh, you don't know exactly the amount of damage they'll do for, with your Identify. Uh, they seem to be quite old. Just from Identify, you can tell they're at least 200 years old. What elements do I got? Uh, one appears to do fire damage. Gross. One appears to do poison. Oops. And then one appears to do a form of elemental damage you're not familiar with. You, you understand it to be of arcane nature, but it's not... And you understand it to be a uh, vaguely elemental, but you don't, uh, you can't fully comprehend what it is. With, with my identify, do I have to fire them, or can I stab something and they will activate? You would know that coming into contact with something uh, as their magic, it, uh, using an, a, an act of aggression, so stabbing or firing them, would cause them to uh, activate. You would know with your <laughs> identifier. Uh, so you have a fire, you have a poison, and you have an unknown, if you want to put those in parentheses next to each arrow. I have fire, poison, oofta, with a question mark. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. Uh, in this meantime, while he's sitting, while Zelfer's just on the ground, crisscross, just kind of examining these arrows, what, what are the rest of you guys doing? Crying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my glitter, just like dip the tip of my tongue in it. 
just for a just take because 83 I'm... points of fire damage. Fuck you. I mean... Okay, roll a d100. Oh okay. god. <laughs> okay, um, you just dip your tongue in it, and as you as you kind of like quickly pull away, you start to drool uncontrollably for just a split second, and then you're fine. Paralysis poison, nice. Mm. And I would yeah, like for you, if you're gonna keep that in inventory, I would like yep. for you as you cork it back up to mark um, D100 potion eleven. I got the chocolate cake one. The Zelfer is slowly identifying. Yep. So this is what you guys are doing as Zelfer is uh, working on an identify. Yep. Because that's going to take on him half an hour. For his own things. Without um, you guys. Okay. Mind. Is it too late to retcon in that I drank half and gave James half? Too late. Okay. Damn. I mean, honestly, I get you know it. It's just RP. It doesn't matter that much. We can say you you let James have have a good sip. Okay. And he seemed to love it. Epic. He's my rap buddy. He's my friend. I love him. And it's funny because when he takes a little stuff, he goes, "Oh, it tastes like fish, fish, fish." Yes. Fish. Hmm. I, I look at him and go, "Fish." He nods vigorously. What? What kind of fish are you eating? Wait, one of the. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, did you already roll for it? What? Uh, the first potion that I had was way back. Uh, I still have that one in my inventory. That oh yeah, you haven't been using yours, smart man. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, oh. I forgot to mark what like the apparent effects were for mine, so I've already forgotten what they did. I might remember off the top. Well, of my I know head. what one of them does. I just don't know which one of them does it. Uh, I know one of them makes you spicy. It doesn't. One of them make you like super like prone to fire damage. One of them makes one of them makes me float. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And now one of them makes me drool, I guess. No, nope. no, no. I'm genuinely afraid to actually drink it. <laughs> um, the other one. So you have eleven and twenty. I do those two. No, uh, Menon. I had eleven, twenty, and. 40. Wait, I thought you said you didn't mark them. Uh, no, I like I. Gave them the numbers, but I didn't write down for oh, myself what they did. Oh, understood. Yeah, so I have 11, 45, and 68. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll move on. Uh, eventually, Zelfer does finish up uh, his identifying. You you know what you know about as much as you can about these arrows. Malcolm is still on the floor, passed out, snoring now, in his own vomit. Excellent. I pressed the dissertation right. him after 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> What did you want me to identify? Uh, I have three potions, if you could identify. Uh, two of them I just picked up, and then I have a glowing vial of necromantic green stuff. Oh, fuck. I uh, can we... identify that. <laughs> I crack my neck, and I'm starting with that one. <laughs> I will go one, two, three, and uh, I, before I start doing this, I look at six and go, I get to keep one of these things. <laughs> And then I'm gonna start with the necro necrocrotic one. Necrocrotic. If you don't, I'll uh, I won't have you pay me back for that pearl. I'm gonna go with the necrotic one to start. <laughs> Are you ignoring him when he says that? Yep. Okay, six. Do you still hand him all three? Uh, I, I mean, I would try to keep my hand on the necromantic, but you know. So he has you. You both have your hands on the necromantic one. He says, "If you don't, I'll not have you not pay me back for the pearl." I go. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. I okay. Fight, I say, holding on to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if he's gonna, as long as his hands on it, I'm not telling him what it does. Okay. So you guys are gonna stand there for ten minutes as he casts identify on, on this and concentrates on it. No, I'll let him plug it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this is gonna be another thirty minutes of me sitting here yeah. doing. Yeah. Would you guys stuff. like to do anything else? You're you're approaching. You know, it's getting I pretty will, late. I will say, as I walk away, <laughs> don't make me throw that rock. So. <laughs> uh, Jason, it sounds like you're a bit further from your mic again. Sorry. 
Yeah. Don't make me throw that rock again, Zelfer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I assume he's already concentrating. Um, yeah. Do you have the numbers for those? Um, did you? Oh, nope. did you? You didn't even try those potions, did you? Nope. nope. Okay, so he has two D100 potions, uh, not yet tried, and the necromantic stuff. Uh, I'm going to take him to Secret Secrets for just one minute. Yay! If you guys can think of anything you'd like to do during the next half hour, uh, let me know when we come back. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so. Uh, roll two D100s for me separately. And then you are going to have fun with this one. Okay. I'm gonna make a death saving throw just to spook him. <laughs> okay, so you know that uh, <laughs> the first potion you <laughs> first potion you potion you grab, uh, because of your knowledge around it, you'd know it was made by the Rat King about uh, a week ago. And about a week ago. About a week ago. And you would know that the effects have to do with your charisma. You know um, that it gives you a feeling of like extraordinary fluency and efficacy in your words and it allows you to express your thoughts with great clarity for 1d6 hours uh <laughs> so you know that so basically 72 is um clearness of speech i don't have a title not, for it not what i have written down but okay okay that works uh i have my own little notes for that him. that's just fine the zelf is the one doing this <laughs> <laughs> and you would know the next one, when consumed, would literally just set you on fire. Now, the necromantic, the little potion, the little green vial, you would know, based on your encounters, you, you get a little extra information because you know the person who made it. You saw the equipment used to make it. Uh, normally, identify would only tell you so much, but you have a lot of extra information already in your subconscious. You know... That this little green vial, if you were to pour it into an undead creature's mouth, it would become your essentially undead slave for 1d4 hours. Dope. Into dead creatures. Okay, yep. So I'm going to take you back. Alrighty. So uh, are you guys doing anything in the next half hour where Zelfer is yet again uh, examining items? Um, I go Examining sleep. Zelfer. Who is completely wrapped up in looking at these potions. You could, you could be an inch away from him. He'd hardly notice. Okay. As you, as you get an inch away from me, I hardly Sorry, notice. Sorry, can you say that one more time? Oh, uh, Zelfer is in... I was just asking if you guys do anything in that half hour while Zelfer is examining these items. Gotcha. Uh, no, not I, really. How many fingers do rattlings have? Three. Four for, like, a thumb. That's actually a good... Let's go with that, yeah. I know, because I've, I've had, like, um, gerbils and rodents before. They have three normal little fingers and then one that's kind of like a thumb. Yes, but there's your the answer. Make believe. Uh, no, I like that answer. Y yeah, that doesn't change the fact this man, you know. Okay, they have twenty fucking fingers. What do you want? That would be fucking awesome. The better no! to fit me with. <laughs> They're like no! little spiders on each hand. <laughs> All right, well then. Spider never hands. Spider hands. <laughs> okay, so uh, it sounds like you guys aren't really doing anything. So uh, Zelfer finishes up. Uh, it's getting quite late now, um, and he he kind of perks up once he's done examining all three items. What you got, Zelfer? Well, this one, I've got potion 50, is fun. <laughs> um, that not, doesn't float well. Do not drink it. Percy holds his hand out. It will hurt you <laughs> a lot. Percy slowly retracts his hand. <laughs> po I hold the potion, and I kind of put potion 50 in my pocket. Okay. Potion 50. I don't want you to keep that. I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay. I fucking hate identify now. You should. Uh, is it a cantrip? Nope. Uh, technically, it doesn't use a spell slot. It's because it's asking. a ritual. Yeah. Or are you like ritual it, casting it? 
I could make it instant if I wanted to, but I'm not. Yeah, I think it's a, it's technically a level one or two, isn't it? It's a one. Yeah, it's a level one, but you can cast it without a spell slot as a ritual if you take ten minutes. Yep. Uh, this one potion seventy two makes it, it makes your words do the beautiful. Okay. Um, Miss Menon, would you like this one? Um. Sure. And Mr. Six. Mr. Six. <laughs> this one right here, and uh, I tap on it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was nice. I like that. Um, if if you were to kill something, and dump it into this this into its mouth, it would bring it back to life. That would obey you for if I had to say like a dice on it, it'd be like a D four. That, that matter, between one and four hours. But um, if you would like it, you can have it. I picked the one I want. Jason, you sounded far away again. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Um. What did I ask? I, uh, you asked uh, if he knew how freshly dead they had to be. Oh yeah. Um. I think they have to. I don't know. I'd assume decently fresh, maybe a day. Okay. You don't have an exact number, but that is actually quite accurate. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> and I assume the one he put in his pocket is the green one. No, the necrotic one is the one I gave you. That's the green oh, one. Oh, okay. Got it. I wanted the I wanted one of the random potions. No problem. Holden, with my identify on potion fifty, do I know how much of it has to be inside of you for it to light you on fire? You would know that in order for this one to take effect, it would have to be all of it. Fuck, it is a one to, use. It is really hard to spike someone's drink with it then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you couldn't quite do that. Okay. So theoretically, if I were to take a bottle of wine and dump this into it, how would that affect it? You're not sure? You understand the properties of this itself. Mixing it with anything else, you're unsure. Unless you mix it with that and then cast Identify again. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to go um, think about who I'm going to force feed this to. <laughs> and I head this way. Okay. So Zelfer heads into the cave. Anything you guys would like to do? I assume you're uh, staying here for the night. Yeah, I'll set up another brew. Okay. Uh, uh, I believe he has about six. Oh. Uh, the one you had left here, he he, he pulled it up. He started drinking from it a bit early, um, but there's still a fair amount of it left. Okay. There's still if you had like a barrel set up, there's still like yeah. four fifths of the barrel left. Well, I wouldn't mind setting up a second one, just maybe to see if we can sell it. Um, you'd have to obtain another barrel. Uh, okay. Or some other thing with which to, sure. you know. Yeah, I'll work on that. Yeah. I'd like to ask James if he's learned anything recently. Uh, he starts to get kind of excited. Oh, I learned about Rat God, and I learn about, learn about, learn about Rat God and Rat God. And he nods his head. Hey, we can make a religion out of this. Yeah, 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 good, good. Mm. Okay. You thanks. want learn rat god? You want learn learn? I can learn teach. Oh, why do I love this you, man? You you have moments to talk about Lord and Savior and Rat God? <laughs> Essentially. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> um Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll sit there with him and learn. Okay. Um, anything else? So while he's he's going to be learning about the rat god from James, anything else from the rest of you guys? I hope that he comes to me in his time of need. And I can rely on him as well. Okay, Zelfer, what are you doing? I am cave? finding rats to talk to. Uh-huh. And every time I can get one to sit and talk to me, I will tell them... I will start to tell them a little bit about how... The rat god. There is a god po more powerful than the rat god who is seeking attention. Great, you're trying to fucking convert. Jesus. It's probably not gonna work. You realize that, right? Okay, uh, what's your aim here? 
You want to know my actual aim, Holden? Do you want to go to Secret Secrets? I can just whisper GM you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a general charisma check. I'm going to need uh, Percival to make a general intelligence check. Um, and then if everybody Tolerance. else... Yeah. Uh, to understand what the fuck this guy is saying. Okay. Uh, yeah, Zelfer, give me that. Okay. Charisma. Okay. Good. Um, Menon, six, anything for the night? Making a bed down. Uh, yeah. Maybe upkeeping your brew. The only thing I really want to do isn't... I'm not able to do it right now because the person I would need to do it with is passed out on the floor. So... <laughs> I'll, I, uh, wait I'll make sure when he's hung over. I'll make sure Malcolm has like a blanket. Okay, so you kind of cover. He's pressed the digitation yeah, clean, so you kind of make him as comfy as you can on the floor. I I'll mean, keep your brew a bit for the night. Um, yeah, you guys said that you tipped him on his side already, right? Yeah, yeah. they did. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'd leave him. Zelfer, you you go about and freak some rats out. You're unsure of if your goal is achieved. But you have a feeling that um, if your plan is going to work, you did fairly well. Um, okay, then I'll, I'll uh, go into my own little headspace. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to that in just a moment. Percival, uh, throughout the night before you <clears throat> go to bed. Essentially, it's a lot of just like troubled, like, oh, Rat God, very good. Rat God, bring us down many gifts. And he, essentially what you learn is that these rats believe that the Rat God has blessed them with their uh, intelligence and um, they are meant to go out into the world and um, ingratiate themselves into greater society someday. Nice. Is the best you can kind of learn from him. Um, and then uh, after you're done talking to some rats, I'm going to take you back to Secret Secrets. Go ahead. Miss Dunder, I think I have got his attention. And there's nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'll wake up. Okay. That was quick. Oh. Hello? Hello, Dad? Hello. So. Um. We'll move on then. You guys eventually all find your rest for the evening. Some of you staying up later than others. Um. And the next morning. Our. Ooh, long rest. Yep, you can all take your long rest. Um, 523 health if you need any if there's any food you need for yourself or anything Malcolm certainly has it here um, is he awake you guys are woken up in the morning to the sound of Malcolm stumbling about tripping over benches and trying to move over to his uh, his desk and just ah, oh, god damn and kind of stumbling and grumbling to himself and you guys are all woken up to the sound of him like knocking over a chair is it Did clattering? you fucking keep it down? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. Mm, oh, and he I'm kind of goes and sit, sits down at his desk. As you guys all kind of stir and start to wake for the morning. Homeboy got shit faced. So, the rest of the story. Now. Oh, he kind of looks back from his desk. And he goes, what? I will slap you again. He kind of feels his cheek. Oh, right, right. That's, um... That did hurt. Um... Good. What were you asking? Seriously? What he, he, happened to King Marcus? He goes wide-eyed for a moment and goes, oh, and he starts rummaging, rummaging through some papers in his desk, like, desperately searching for something. Where are you looking for Marcus's forwarding address? What's going on? <laughs> And he kind of just, like, very rudely holds up one finger behind him. Which one? Uh, a pointer, like a, like, wait a moment. Okay, all right. I was going to say, because... I should have specified, one, yeah. About the middle one, I would have taken my quarterstaff and fucking whacked him. <laughs> but he's just kind of, like, desperately, he's like, there's papers flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. Any and? day now. About, if you guys are willing to wait, about two minutes pass by. And he's kind of like Can seeming more and more desperate. Help you but find something. Goes, ah, 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 ah. And he kind of like, he he holds up a little like torn up little notebook paper. He goes here 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 here. And he gets up and he kind of walks over to you guys, stumbling a little bit. Oh, fuck my head. Um, oh. <clears throat> I might. Uh, 
Right, I, right. I, uh, forgive me. I have I experienced a, uh, oh, fuck. A moment of weakness, if you will. Um, here. Uh, and he ex he ex it, was sev it was several moments. Agreed. God, my head. Uh, he extends the piece of paper to you, uh, Six. Um, it is a very, very poorly drawn map. Uh... Uh, that kind of looks like dire wood maybe or at least the outskirts and essentially squiggly lines everywhere and little symbols that you can't understand that pr seem to mean nothing mm -hmm. um the only thing you can discern is that the sh the most the thickest line um goes from where y you could guess is the mill to somewhere east of Direwood? Just outside of Direwood? Oh, I'm sorry, west. It would be west. Somewhere just west of Direwood. Towards the tower area. Got it. And there's like a big, cir like 20 circles around where, look, comparing it to your own map, it is, it is the Mage's Guild Tower. And, um... <laughs> Malcolm kind of clears his throat. <clears throat> I, um, he left that here. He said he had some sort of goal. Something about the rat god calling him. It was all very, hmm, how do I? Uh, uh, so you let him wander off on his own? I'm not his caretaker. You kind of are. Mm, not so much as his, uh, friend, I, I suppose, at this point. Well, then you let your very naive and not very intelligent friend he wander off. He is a matured adult for his race. I'm not going to tell him what to and not to do. Listen outside. here, you motherfucker! Oh, he kind of like, <laughs> wide-eyed. Like, like, his eyes were kind of like slits. He's like, the light hurting him. What little light, light is in this basement, you know? And as soon as you, listen here, motherfucker! He's like, oh, and his eyes widen. <laughs> I'm not going to have any of your fucking shit. Take responsibility like a goddamn man. Uh, Was that a motion? Just a little bit. Percy claps. Just a little bit. Most of it was you just acting what you know you would feel. And as yeah. you did so, just a little bit. You just got a, a little, little angry. Just a little off. angry, yeah. A little titch of fuck you, you know? Yeah. And he, it's mostly still says, just deadpan. Listen, I have... A lot of important work to do here. He's not the only rat. I. He's the uh, king of them. You think that you would. They can crown a new king. You seem to like him well enough last night. I don't know what you're talking about. Well. You were crying. Like I... a baby. Mr. Malcolm, does your mm. head hurt? He starts Malcolm. kind of feeling the back of his head. Yes, actually. Give me one second. I'm gonna grab a. I'm gonna grab a glass. Um, I'll be over by the brewing station. I'm gonna dump the fire, the potion fifty into it. And I'm gonna give it to him. Oh no! And I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> okay. Zelfer. I mean, I love you, but oh my god. Uh, Malcolm kind of takes it as uh, you hand it to him, and you start heading upstairs. And he looks at you. What? What is? Um. It'll uh, help. Thumbs up. Uh huh. Um, he's gonna make an insight check. Uh, why don't you roll deception? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> well, I was confident he would see through you, but... You seem convincing enough. You see, you, you guys see Zelfer actually seem... For a moment, you were like, oh, Zelfer's actually, he kind of cares. And he, he seems very caring as he hands him this. And he's like, this will help. And he starts to head upstairs. You're all like, why is that? Oh god, no. And then you remember what potion that was. <laughs> Wait, you were you all want... <laughs> you you were all fooled for a moment until you realized what he'd just given him. Um, so, was that the fiery it, one? Before he puts it up to his mouth. Yeah, he he's like, oh, thank thank oh, you. Oh, oh, he, oh, it's up to his lips, and he's like, huh. Oh. Uh, you might not want to drink that. Uh, will it not help? Do you have something better? Selfers help. Um, <laughs> You're sounding a bit far away again, buddy. As in Zelfer's help is different than most people's. I reach out slowly and try to take the mug. Uh, um, he seems kind of confused and dazed, and he 
doesn't move. You're, you're easily enough able to take it away from him. Do you, you have another vial it. around here? Uh, plenty of vials, sure. I pour it into one and cap it and put it in my bag. <laughs> okay, you now have potion 50. I technically would have cured his headache. <laughs> Not gonna say, I technically would have cured it. He, uh, well, uh, water it is. Um, he gets some water for himself and he says, I, listen, there, something, something magical was drawing him away. Uh, frankly, I don't think it was the rat god, but, uh, who am I to, who, let him wander off? he's his own person. These creatures, he kind of says, looking around to make sure they're not in here. They're very, very humanoid. I've been studying them for quite some time, and they're, they're, you were right. They're not like most rats. They, they feel, and they believe, and they aspire. Uh, if he believes the rat god is calling to him, I could not have stopped him if I had tried, unless I had GERD. You hear, in the, you hear, like, 20 feet away, good. Um, <laughs> yeah, unless I had him restrain the Rat King, but that would have caused problems. And he kind of, the entire time is speaking, his eyes are kind of just little slits, and every now and then they kind of close, and he's just kind of standing there, listfully, you know, bobbing around. Okay. Is there anything else we could tell you to save you two months of research while we're here? Because we're going to go save our friend. That's not all. I, never mind. Um... What? Spit it out. Do you want to know more of my research with the Hysteria? If it can help us? I yeah. don't know, can it? I don't know. Well, can all it? right. It's probably above you. Um, Listen, there is some th magical something calling to him. That's all I know. He told me the Rat God was calling to him to go to the tall thingy. I assume something magical it wasn't the rat god. There was some magical for this. presence. Some magical presence called him away and he went and I um just gotta roll something quick. Never mind. You should go get him. I don't say anything else. I leave. Okay. I go upstairs. Okay. Percy, Menon, you're down there with him. He's he kind of once six leaves, he his the tension in Malcolm's shoulders seems to kind of release a bit, and he sits down in a stool and seems to be pondering and nursing his headache. Um. I don't know. I kind of feel like Percy would just listen. You two are still here. Um, are you going to help him, or eventually? <sighs> he kind of looks back to make sure Six isn't there anymore. I was low. And making sure Six isn't there, he kind of looks around. And he says, "Listen, I went, holding his head. I tried to get him. I did." But the magic forces at that tower were above me. I got scared and I ran. Please go get him. I'm gonna roll my eyes and walk towards six. Okay. Percy. If it's all the same to you, I was locked with the Hysterium for ten years. I would really like to see some of those notes when you have a second. He nods, kind of mournfully. Alright, then I will head off after them, too. Okay. Okay, so eventually... Uh, um, Percy's dead. Yep. Um, the the other two there. head upstairs to meet with you guys uh, up on the up, upper levels. Uh, what are you guys doing? Okay, guys. Uh, packing up some breakfast. Yep. I, I'm looking at Six going, if you, do, if you took it away from can I at least have it back? Maybe later. Yeah, you guys come up 
to these two having a discussion about Potion 50, like, <laughs> well, what's going to happen with we, it? You come got, up to, like, a heated debate. <laughs> we got the information out of him. He got lost the rat kick. I believe he deserves to be punished with fire. I think that's a little harsh at the moment. All right, but then I'll take the attempt. potion back, and if he if the rat king is damaged and hurt or killed, I can come back and make him drink this. I pull out the rock. <laughs> I look at the rock. I pull out my ritual dagger. I feel like the rock is. I feel like at this bottle. point, actually, I'm sorry. This point is where the uh, you you two head up. You see them. Want, you see six holding the rock. You see Zelfer holding the dagger. They're staring each other down. And then Percy and Mendy, you walk into the room and see this. Break it up, ladies. You're both attractive. <laughs> Thank you. I will make you smaller. <laughs> You th uh, I don't have the capacity to care. You've got a point. Now give me back my potion six. All right, all right. Identify this other potion first. I forgot. <laughs> and then you can have it back. <laughs> it's potion six. I take hey, potion that's six. You, you're six. I sit down and I spend ten minutes looking at potion six. Is that like a euphemism for his cum? I don't. I, 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 I can. <laughs> You're about to find out. Uh, okay. Love potion number six. Oh my. Um. Okay. Uh. This will just be a moment. Calling it love potion number six is very very accurate. As um, this potion will cause you to have an erection lasting longer than four hours. <laughs> I'll bring you back. So as you guys sit there waiting for about 10 minutes as he just concentrates on the potion, uh, you hear some thunder start to crackle in the distance. All right. I'll trade you this, and I'll give you back your information for my potion. All right. I hand it over. Potion 50. I hand him potion 6. Um, that will let, make you aroused for longer than four hours. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Love potion I'm, number six. I believe I'm supposed to call a doctor at that point, is that correct? <laughs> well, Mr. Six, I say I drink half, you drink half, and we see where it goes. I um, didn't know you swung at all, Zelfer. What's swinging? I, can, I don't swing many things as I put my dagger away. Uh, all right. Mind. You can swing this dick. What penis? Yours? You want me to see yours, Mr. Percy. Or tell me uh, the name. I didn't... Yeah, okay. We can make that, uh... We can make that canon. I, I thought I told you the name. I probably have it written down somewhere. I'm gonna rat, walk up to the nearest rat and put my hand on its shoulder. Mr. Rat. Okay. Huh. Yes, yes. Did you know it is customary to name your genitals? He kind of looks down. Cu cus custom airy. It is acceptable. People like it when you name your genitals. Hmm. Uh, press your button and say people like Zelfer. Hmm. Seems very, very confused. Janet tools. Janet tools. You're wing a ding a ding dong, my guy. <laughs> Furry. <laughs> hey, exactly. Now go tell all your friends. <laughs> hey. He starts chittering and running away and chittering at others and other rats. You see other rats as you guys are about to leave, like looking down at their own genitals and like chittering at each other and laughing. Jesus. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> I, I I give a thumbs up to Percy. Percy just shakes his give, head with a grin. I'm gonna give Zelfer a thumbs up. Are we ready uh, to move out? Just because I love harmless chaos. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> you guys head out. I assume. Um, All right. In the ten minutes that Zelfer took to identify that potion, the the storm did pick up. Uh, it does begin to rain, and as you, um, would you, somebody give me, well, 
we don't really need to give me a path. I see you can head straight to it. Um, in the uh, hour or so it's going to take you to get there, uh, the rain does start to does lightly begin and then turns into a medium rain and not quite a heavy downpour, but it's raining pretty significantly. And there is the crackle of thunder and lightning above you as you make your way to the Mage's Guild Tower. I imitate it every time I can with press with a minor illusion because that does make I noises. I wish you'd said heavy rain because the second you did, I would have just yelled Sean at the top of my lungs. Jason, 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 I'm... Sean. I am constantly using press the digitation every time I hear thunder or lightning. I not press the digitation, minor illusion. I make it back. Okay, you sure do. But, do you wow. dare strike up a conversation with the thunder crazy. god Odin? Doesn't, ta before. doesn't take long at all for you guys as you're making your way to this tower to spot it. It is a tall, you would guess at least five stories tall, uh, wide tower. Um, looks like, it, it essentially to give you an idea, it's like a wizard's tower, but on steroids. Much bigger. Um... You can tell that many people used to uh, attend or be there uh, to some degree. Um, as you as you approach the tower, uh, you can see this, um, this this tall tower. It, it suffered some damage. There are loose rocks and cracks of all about it. Um, but the bottom level seems to be pretty well fortified and taken care of. Um, and as, as you approach, as you're about 100 feet away, it's clear enough to see that there's a front door. But it is uh, just like the rest of this lower level, uh, quite quite boarded up and in, in, uh, fortified. I believe the best option is to knock. Go ahead. I walk up and I knock. Okay. So as Four you guys... <laughs> okay. You walk up to the tower and knock four times. And actually, I have yet to do something. I need to... Ooh, I'm going to bring you guys to the map in just one moment. And as you... you know, ooh -woo? I'm going to ooh-woo. As you knock, uh, you can hear what sounds like hushed whispers. And then footsteps on, on stone. And you guys are sitting there waiting for a few moments how many seconds uh, i'm gonna say 15 after two i just start knocking without stopping okay just and you just continue yeah. knocking and knocking and knocking uh let me pull up some notes here okay um eventually uh from a window above like directly above the door is a a kind of one of those arched windows about uh, i'm gonna say 20 feet up um, and you see a little, a little head poke out, a, a very, maybe middle-aged, uh, seemingly humanoid woman. Sorry to interrupt. Thanks, Scooter. Uh, humanoid woman pokes her head out, long blonde hair, uh, tied up in a bun behind. You can see just bar barely sticking out. Um, she, she looks down at you and goes, oh, he hello? Hi. Uh, yes, we're, oh. we're selling these fine leather jackets. I'm going to take you to the... Uh, if you go to the bottom right, you will be able to see this little lady poking out from a window. <laughs> and you guys... I'm looking for someone. Um... No, not interested. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm looking for someone. Okay. He looks like this. Minor illusion. The Rat King into my hand. I'm sorry. Don't know him. Goodbye. And she pokes her head back in. Uh, Ma'am, we're coming inside. I go don't, back to no, 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 that won't be necessary. I'm going to Eldritch Blast the door. That sounds like awfully suspicious for a bitch. <laughs> I don't stop knocking, and I just kind of look at... I've never seen her do this before. I look at her and go, ah! And go back to knocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, roll damage on that. Hold on, yeah, I'm working on it. Are you, though? Okay. And you guys can hear it in some like hurried footsteps, um, from God. somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get hit. Okay. Um, men and El, you hit the door, the 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 wood, but it kind of 
in trying to hit this, it looks like you the blast kind of settled all throughout it, and you hit it, but the arcane energy kind of fizzles around the heavy wood and just kind of scorched it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. I want to bust this door down. And as you go to do it again, um, through a tiny crack in the wood uh, over on the first floor, which I'll reveal now, the first floor being over here to the left, um, you can see this time um, a similar, maybe maybe a bit younger woman uh, with brunette, uh, a brunette hair, uh, brown hair flowing down the, the sides of her cheeks. Uh, she kind of peers over. You can just kind of make out some of these uh, details. And she goes, um, excuse me. If, if you could kindly not destroy our home, I would appreciate that. Well, if you'd, gi if you'd give us information, or, I wouldn't have what, to. What would you like to know? Have you Where's seen the, the rat? Have you seen this rat, Minor Illusion? I, there are no rats here. I mean, sorry other than the, the ones that inhabit the walls. I said we were coming in. No, 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 please don't. Yeah, we, we can talk if you'd like, but don't. Don't destroy our door, please. Are you gonna come no, down? I don't here? think you understand. No, she's... It's raining out here, and we're coming in. Hold on, okay. I will make this a bit clearer for you guys. Over oh, here on the first floor. Oh, that's not oh, what I no. meant to do. Let me probably. Is where you guys are, kind of around this door here, Cla clattering away at some pots and pans. Um, oh, I, I can make pots and pans. Um, <laughs> Donald Trump. She said, no, 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 uh, listen, we can talk, I, mm, how about this, uh, and she kind of looks behind her, and turns back, I, I, I'll, I'll let you in, uh, but you must stay on the first floor, please? Why? Be because, thank you, the, uh, above is our personal homes, this is the storage room, above is where we work and where we live, so we'd prefer you Stayed out, please. I'm just gonna narrow my eyes at her. And if she lets us in, I'm gonna follow Six inside. I want it to be noted I haven't stopped knocking. <laughs> please, I'm right here, you don't have to knock. I'm just gonna gently oh, the door is grab not open, is the thing. I'm just gonna gently grab Zelfer's wrist. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, look at you. No. Okay, and I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion to make the knocking noise. Can Minor Illusion do that? Minor illusion, right here. It says, "Uh, can create the um. You, if you create a sound, the volume can range from a whisker to a scream. Okay. It can be your voice, someone else's voice, a lion's roar, a beating of drums, or any other sound you choose. Good to know. I choose the sound of knocking. Okay. His hand. His hand you take his hand away, and it's still knocking. Just, I just look at her and go. L listen, Rob. I, 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 I play. I don't. You're being very aggressive. I. I um, you're being very suspicious. You came to our home, and you're t t launching blasts at our door, and... Damn, bitch, you live in a okay. luxury. Okay, okay. I, I, underst I'm, I understand what happened here. I'm really sorry. So, what I said was, we're coming in. <laughs> um, and she turns away again. Uh, you hear some shuffling... Else wanna shoot you, at the door you hear some shuffling of feet? And then silence. Except for the sound of knocking. <laughs> yeah, all, the, all you hear is... No. Uh, Menon, have you let go of my oh. hand? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I said Jesse and Vivian said Hotel Oscar Echo Sierra, Mike Alpha Delta. And it shows Doge with military gear on. It says Hose Mad is what it spells out. And he goes, God I fucking it. hate you. Fuck you. I, uh, I look at Menon. <laughs> Once you let go of my hand, I keep the knocking going. But then I alternate with one knock from Minor Illusion and one knock on the door. <laughs> it's just constant. I'm going to blast the door again. Okay. Uh, I'll be on Between Eldritch Blast and whatever, you're eventually going to be able to force this thing open. Um, to reveal um, that basically knocking it down. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, this is not hard. It, you knock it down and realize that what looked like a bunch of boards put together to completely seal it was actually like a hidden door. There's actually a latch on the other side. Um, and I'm going to reveal now uh, as you guys enter. Oh, I got to do this a bit more carefully. This is what you see. This is the first floor. As, as you kind of peer in now, you can see there's some... It does appear to, in fact, be storage of some sort. There are crates and barrels everywhere and... I'm gonna walk nope. in. Fascinating. 
to about here. And yep. not stopping the knocking noise, of course. As I kind of look around. There's the still a knocking noise. And as you step in, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, Dad. Okay. You feel some magic start to push on your head as if it's squeezing it, and then you... Nope, 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 nope. Shake your head. You guys see Zelfa just walk in, shake his head, and then he's good. Be careful walking in. I'd say stunt right now. There's a magical barrier that's going to hurt you. Hello? You ca Your voice kind of echoes. Hmm? Just a I little bit. Inside. Surprise me. Hello? Another m little echo. Okay, I'm going to ask one more time for someone to come down here before I start lighting things on fire. <coughs> Hello? Six, make that wisdom saving throw as well. Absolutely. Here, here it comes. comes. Fail. Failure. Make this saving throw. Man, I think this... Come on, six. Seven. Here it is. You um, buying time for yourself? Did you did you roll? Can you see? Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, you feel this pressure, almost as if somebody's pushing on your skull, and it hurts. And you're kind of sitting there for a moment, just almost stunned by this. And then you eventually it kind of fades, and you you know pull yourself back together. They're not answering okay. me, six. So I'm gonna firebolt this. Uh, does anything in here look expensive? Yeah, everything is sealed. There are wooden crates and barrels and sacks. Well, Nothing that looks particularly... I mean, you don't know what's in them. Maybe. But, uh... Percy, Menon? Um... Do I see, like, any stairs or anything? Not from your current position. Right. I'm gonna try and look for a way up. Okay, peering through the door. I'll tell you right now, peering through the door, you probably won't see any stairs. Alright. I'm gonna prepare the, the fucking wisdom save, then. Okay. Sure. This is me drawing fire. I open this crate. I'm not very wise, so. Oh, not bad. Okay, so Zelfer's gonna light that on fire. Uh, <laughs> Six is gonna open the near that. Okay, you're gonna open the nearest crate. Um. Yes. That I. Okay. Uh, that's. Uh, Percy, what are you doing? Um. I'm actually gonna go out with them. Or go in with him, sorry. Okay, I need you to roll I that wisdom save as well. Like, I, I was dead. Yeah. Uh, you guys watch Zelfer just shoot a firebolt and light a random crate on fire. And it is now on fire. Um, Percival Epic. and Menon. Menon, you, you go in and the same thing that happened at 6. You feel this pressure on your skull and it, it stuns Jesus. you for a moment. You, you're just... It's Fucker, those burning rolls. and then you... It slowly fades. Uh, Percival, you walk in the exact same thing. You, you, you feel like... Someone is just pressing in on your skull, and it eventually fades. Did you, did you crit fail and crit success? Yeah, you yep. did. Uh, oh six, God. looking in the crate nearest you, you open it up just a little. It opens up without any trouble, and it's just grains. Maybe I should have had advantage. Grain. Since he was like, okay. okay. It's just grains. Okay. Well, do uh, do any of them look like? I'm sorry. Do any of them look like they make a good beer? <laughs> um, make a nature check. All right. Or survival. Uh, Which one? I I'm I'm actually hmm technically has to do with food, so I'm gonna go survival. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you agree. Um, uh, you know, looking at this, Shut this looks up. to be rice or something. You could potentially make some rice based. Alcohol, possibly, maybe. That's a thing. Suck but... it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Uh, I'm not familiar enough with it. I'll just let it go at this point. Some of it's on sure, fire. Sure. We're, we're here. We're Hello? Here at this point. You can see into this yeah, other room. It's just more storage. Sorry. Go ahead. Me? You want to roll investigation for what? Uh, to look for a staircase or a way up. Yeah, uh, I, I assume you guys are just going to explore this first level. Uh, I'll just reveal it because right now there's not much. Um, here's what the first level looks like. Uh, it is rather large and eventually going through a doorway to your left you do see what appears to be stairs heading up. Um, and right here where I'm about to ping 
is a <gasps> thick metal door. That's the shit right there. There I'm, we go. I knock on it. Ting, ting, ting. I changed the knocking noise of Minor Illusion to that noise. Yeah. Hello? Wait. Oh, someone answered. <laughs> 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 Wait, Jason, is Discord starting to fuck up for you? Beep. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, um, if it gets really bad to the point that we're not understanding you, we're going to try changing to a completely different Discord channel. I'll try switching up the server to be closer to you. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. No worries. Okay. But if it's Hello? just a little robot we can deal. Your voice still just kind of echoing throughout. That's another barrel. That one. Uh, all right, it's on fire, dude. Go ahead and draw your fire. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> is the fire spreading? Uh, is from fire the first spread, is fire spread on. Fire spread is on. The first, Boom. the first one you hit was just like a little sack, and you can see burned grains falling from it um, as it starts to fall apart that one is now on fire um looks like the fire will spread if not checked yeah and the uh can I use... Sorry. go ahead can i use prestidigitation to put them out can you uh no, i don't believe so it's can only press small the... I... yeah i was gonna say prestidigitation i know you you can like light you can small you can fires, right um it's Into a, a candle torch or small light campfire. or snuff out a candle yeah or a small, small campfire, campfire. So, like, so like if it if it was a if you caught them right away yeah if you it, uh, if you didn't let them spread you probably could yeah yeah I would try to to put out the small ones that I could yeah Zelfer so as soon as you're lighting shit on fire it burns for a moment and then it goes and then puts them out it doesn't get the point across if you stop it they're up above us they can't <clears throat> come down. If the entire first floor is on fire, or if they're dead from lack of oxygen because all of the smoke rose up into the next floor. Well, then they'd come down sooner mm. rather than later. The little bit of smoke that's kind of hovering in here, there's not a lot because you put it out rather quickly, but it seems to be very slowly venting out the door you just bashed down. Ugh. <sighs> I gestured to the smoke coming out the door. Six has uh, turned into the next room away from you guys. Yeah, I would, I would go into the next room. I will go into this room and start opening everything. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now to open everything. It looks like this is where they dine. There are several tables. Um, there are several open crates and barrels and some sealed. It's more food. I'll just make this quick. There's more food and general provisions. Okay, I'm going to pile them all right here. As many as like, I'm going to actually make a pile of them. All right, you guys watch. Uh, well, Six doesn't watch. Six, Six is heading for the stairs. Uh, the rest of you watch as Zelfers just starts piling boxes and crates and shit in the one area. And Six, you can hear okay. just the clattering of the wood behind you. I assume something is going on back there. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> I come back out after I'm done. Go now. It's only gonna be one fire. Epic. Alright, I'm gonna follow uh, six up the stairs. Well, real quick, is this door locked? Mm, there doesn't appear to be any obvious doorknob on it, and pushing on it, it doesn't budge. So it's it appears to be, though. There's no locking mechanism that you can see either. Can I fit my fingers under the door? Mm. No, it is pretty tight. <clears throat> uh, how tight? Shut up. Uh, let me try something. Knock, knock, knock. You sure did. Sticking, uh, sticking fingers underneath. Is it possible to pull the door open as opposed to push? There is, there, there's no room underneath. Oh, okay, I misunderstood. Hmm. I wonder how strong well, the door is. Do you want to find out? <laughs> I'm gonna acid spit on it. Okay, roll damage. Okay. All 2d10. Huh? Mm. Okay. 
You acid spit all over it, and it spreads and starts to ooze down the door, and it's singeing, and there's like, you can hear this sizzling as, as it, it sounds like it's eating away at the metal, but the door seems undamaged. Ah, all right, I'm going to head towards the stairs. Okay, are the rest of you going to head upstairs then? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm not going to head up, I'm going to, I'm going to gingerly put my foot, my left foot on the staircase. Okay, and as, as all you guys kind of pass this threshold, I need everyone to roll me a d4. A I what? numerically just put oh. my foot on the uh. A D what? A D four, please. Uh, I thought you said D forty. I can roll that as well. Great, I died. I lost all four of my limbs. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm with you. What the fuck? You guys are the worst. Come on, Jake. you're the one who only lost oh. all of them. Oh, hey, funny enough. Why do we all have different <laughs> symbols on our fours? How did men enroll two four it's in a row? No, two. Oh, did they um, roll actually? Everybody there that rolled go. a d4, so everyone but Zelfer, I need you to roll a d4 again. Men and you rolled several times, so you got two. So six and Percy, I need you to roll again. Percy got another four. Percy got another four. Percy, uh, I... actually, okay. Yeah, okay. This works, and... Man, we got a lot of numbers in that room. It's like Minesweeper. <laughs> oh. Okay. So as you guys all kind of pass through that doorway and make your way, uh, start to make your way up the stairs, or you're about to, you're kind of gingerly are like stepping, kind of looking for traps, you all feel that same pressure in your head again. And you're, you're it, it's eating away at you, and you kind of sit there and as you all kind of start to shrug it off you look up and Zelfer you feel a lot shorter and Menon you feel a lot taller six in person the same and you look down six Wait, the same as what or do we feel taller or shorter you both feel taller and shorter than you once were six you look down and you you have a hulking body with no shirt on and six uh, Percy you look down and you're toned as fuck you got tattoos all over your body <laughs> Men, and Ooh, you, you look around great. at yourself, and you're wearing, and you, your eyes are, you see weird. They're like horizontal. And Zelfer, you have boobs. I instantly go. <laughs> so Zelfer is now controlling Menin's body. Men and Zelfers, and Six and Percy have also switched. All right, let's oh. you do not have a, you do oh. not have each other's character sheets. You can only okay. do what you remember your friends can do. I would like to uh, try to summon my weapon. <laughs> okay, so you guys watch as Six slash Percy like holds out his hand and concentrates and nothing happens. <laughs> hmm. I step on the I, I step on the staircase again as Menon. <laughs> you just step right on it? Yep. Okay, Menon, you watch from Zelfer's body as your own body steps on the stairs and nothing happens. Uh-huh. <laughs> Give me a sec. Hello! <laughs> That's not how. <laughs> and as and, and as you start to speak, that's not how you're like. That's not how. What the? And you realize it's Zelfer's voice. Huh. I look over at me. Well, no, this is a little bit strange. <laughs> I love that you, you, you do the me accent. Good. That's good. You're that's good. You're a fucking cowboy. <laughs> well, I, I, I thought he did it quite six well. This is just Jason's voice. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I instantly reach over, put my hand on my own peck, and I it's just a look at him like I'm, I look at him and I go, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Zelfer grabs his own tits, Percy grabs his own tits. <laughs> uh, so, who's me? I say, uh, pointing to the man with his hand on my peck. Uh, Percival. Uh, alright. We switched. Hi, Damn, Mrs. Menon! Waving at Menon. <laughs> yeah, Menon, you watch your own body wave at you in, with a big grin. Hi, Miss Menon! And Menon, in Zelfer's body, you, you can feel, feel emotion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Zelfer just starts freaking out and giggling. <laughs> All right, um, let's do something. You, Zelfer, you don't feel emotion. All right, let's do something. You reach in my bag, pull out my book. 
pointing at myself. <laughs> you, me. Uh, nope, you just. Which, which, which one? <laughs> the one that has spells in it, not the ones that has a uh, how to be a person. Right, right, right. Uh, and I'll, I'll put it down to rummage. Does that mean I have Six's uh... flask? Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. Because Six has Six's flask. <laughs> I, uh... I the book and hand it <gasps> to myself. I take out the rock. Six. <laughs> you hold... Yeah, six. You, you, you hold out... Or six slash Percy. You hold out your sword. All right, you hold out your sword. You hold out your hand. You're like, sword. Sword. To me. And and you kind of... It doesn't happen. And you kind of hold out your hand for a moment. You concentrate. And then the sword appears in your hand. Oh. Oh. I can get used to it. I... Wait, 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 I have to do something. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a spit acid at just one of the random boxes. Can she, can she do that? Can... Does she know how to? But I, what I'm asking is, can Zelfer do that multiple times? <laughs> yes, you can do it a few times. She spits that. acid. Meta just fucking vomits on the door. How do you do this? Yeah, she kind of, you feel the acid in, in, go up your throat and where are you spitting it? Uh, just like on one of the random boxes. Yeah, you just pick a ra pick a random box and <laughs> roll damn. Uh, well, okay, roll two d ten for me. I'll mark it off. <laughs> I uh, I lean over, out of earshot of the two who are talking to myself, <laughs> and I whisper, "Ignore the voices." <laughs> Ignore the voices. Um. So men, men, uh, men and slash Zelfer, you lean over and just <laughs> all over a box, and it, it sizzles and it melts, and you can you can smell the corn inside just withering away. Melfer and Zenon. Melfer and Zenon. I am. Melfer and Zenon. I am giggling. I grab my hand so and I pull out the quill and go, "All right, I'm gonna guide your hand, and we're gonna figure out what's going on." Because I'm assuming I have all my memories. You are yourself. It's cool. I'm using, tell. I'm using her hand to uh, write all the runes for detect magic. So it's with her hand using it. So mm -hmm. Zelfer's still like my actual being is still writing the symbols. Yep. I'll so hand you... her the book and point to where the spell is and go do that. Okay. And, and point to it. where the spell. What do you mean? My, my, oh, all my I see what you're saying. Yep, got you, got so you. It, yep. everything so you're essentially kind of giving her a quick uh, a, a 101 on how to cast this. Well, here's the thing, Holden. Because I'm a wizard, all my spells are in a spell book. Yeah. She yeah. knows all my spells. Yeah. Which means I have to tell her which ones are prepared and which ones aren't. Mm hmm Okay, so the spells you can cast, I'll get to it if we get into combat. <laughs> I asked uh, so Percival Six Whispers back to uh, Percy. Oh, um... Uh, yeah, I, I hand you, I, I, as, as I hand it back, I say, uh, wait, yes, no, I was saying about, sorry, uh, <laughs> your earlier comment about ignoring the voices, I, I nod and say, yeah, you too, uh, and then I hand you your <laughs> ring. All right, now, Holden, this is the ring that's bound to the sword. Okay. So I put it on. Oh, okay. Um, I can't use swords. <laughs> But, I know, but it's my sword. Oh. So you do uh, hand him okay. a You are exchanging the ring? Sure. Okay, so then so, this... What, what do you want me to protect your body with? <laughs> fuck, a person can't punch! <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... I look at him and I try summoning, uh, tr try thinking of the other sword that I use, not the big black demon one. Okay. Uh, I will do that. So then okay. uh, that would be the royal sword. Yes, and concentrating in the same way you are eventually, after a few moments, it feels weird, but you're able to do it. Oh, okay, alright. There you go. Use that <laughs> one. I wouldn't use this one unless you want to go on a uh, murder's rampage. Uh, rarely do I want that. Okay, thanks. I, uh, slip the ring on, and I try to summon the Black Blade. Okay, uh, with the ring, does it require attunement? 
Did we ever specify um, I that? Don't, I don't think we have attunement. I don't think so. See, in hindsight, I feel like it should require attunement. However, I didn't specify that before, so I'm going to say, yeah, you put the ring on and you're able to summon that sword. Cool. As six, which feels weird because it feels kind of heavy, a little heavy and clunky in this body, but okay. it's your sword. I, uh... Or Percival's yeah, sword. Whispered away, and then I go, just in case. I, I lean close to... Zelfer's flapping his wings, self. giggling like a child. <laughs> I punch my own fist Wait. a few times. He goes, ooh. I, I lean close and go, Miss Menon. Zelfer feels no emotion. Miss, Miss Menon. What do I do when I have to pee? <laughs> we return to you guys getting fucking freaky Friday'd. Uh, oh boy. What would yes. you like to do as as uh, Men and Zelfer is uh, flapping his her wings around and giggling? Um, Zelfer Menon is stepping on the stairs trying to figure out how to help Zel Men and Zelfer with casting. The other two are talking about voices. Hey, um, I probably, without thinking, would be so happy I can feel emotions again. I would try to do a backflip. <laughs> um, Zelfer, roll a uh, roll an acrobatics with your sheet. You've got to be fucking me. <laughs> You're gonna get me hurt. I'm gonna be mad. Oh, uh, <laughs> man! In, in Zelfer's body, you freak out. You're so happy. You can feel again. You try to do a backflip, and you kind of just land on your back with a big thud. Crushing your wings a little bit, and it hurts. You're like, oh, okay, no, nope, no. Nope. You're not gonna take damage, but knocks the one out of you for a split second. Oh, oh, oh. You're stupid. Got him. <sighs> well, I can do this at least. I'm gonna pull out the first instrument I can and start playing. <laughs> okay, you pull out a violin. Uh, roll perform. Uh, Menin with your sheet. Roll performance. Percy is having a uh, crisis on whether he should still view Menon as kind of hot, or now that he's thinking about <laughs> probably not. Do it, do it. It won't load. Do you want me to roll it for what you? What happened if okay. I fucked, no, 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 wait, uh, I fucked his Zelfer in Menon's body? Okay. Oh, what? Oh, six roll deception. I was deceived. like, oh, <laughs> I've been deceived. Well, uh, okay, here's the thing. It's a crit fail, technically still an 11, but here's what happens. Uh, that actually kind of really works for the narrative. Zelfer Menon, uh, you pull out a violin. You're like, instrument, I can do this. And without ever having done this before or ever held this, holding, you, you hold the instrument correctly. You don't, it, it just kind of comes naturally, like, you know, muscle memory. And you kind of start to play, but because your body knows how to play, but you don't know any actual songs, you just kind of start hitting playing notes that are nonsensical, like you're dragging the bow across gently, uh, but with just enough pressure to create a sound that doesn't sound terrible, but there's all these dissonant notes and it doesn't really make sense because you don't know how to, what any songs. So you kind of play a little kind of. Nice. And Zelfer, you watch your body start to dance to it anyway. I don't like this. <laughs> I'd prefer you stop. Um. Make me. I can just kill this body. Uh, what, again? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, but this time then you'll I'll be have... stuck in that. Then I'll kill this body and I'll okay. go back up to heaven. Where oh, not if you're in that. I go, not if you're in that body. <laughs> But it's still my soul. Well, okay, but it, not? do you have emotions? Yes! Then how does that make sense if it was your soul? Because I still have my own consciousness. But your soul doesn't have emotions, correct? Consciousness comes from the brain, dum-dum. Six says. I don't care, care to know how this works, I just want it fixed. Um, I don't. I'm good. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't like grabs the, your tits. I don't like having these. Oh. 
Uh, well, I like having these, and I point to my uh, to my smile. So. Well, um, socks. I'm gonna head upstairs. Uh, as you turn around to start heading upstairs, you hear a voice from what sounds like a fair distance up, probably a few levels you could guess, but it just calls out. If you want to leave, you could. Or if you want to fuck. If you want to reverse the spell, you could always leave. Like hell. Do we all have to leave to reverse it? There's no response. All right, I head as outside. I finish my oranges. Okay, uh, so as six, you're you're controlling your own token there. Yes. Uh. Percy starts floating. Yes, Percy starts slowly heading up the stairs as Zelfer. Oh shit, that's not a mouse. Sorry. Books it outside. And Zelfer, as as you pass the threshold of this door, there that that pounding pain. Both men and Zelfer feel it. And then when you open your eyes back up, you're in your own bodies. No. You no. You want to feel. You want to feel sad, but you can't. Oh. Just gonna fall to my knees. I'm gonna walk to the other side now in my own body and sit down. You gonna walk back in? No, I'm. I, my body never left, didn't it? Yeah. Did it not. Uh, uh, your body never left. Yeah. I'm taking my body on the other side of the yes. threshold. Yes. So that way I don't get stuck in that if Menon decides to sprint back in there. So you're... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was confused because what I should have done was this because that was Zelfa. Yep. So men and yep. leaves, you fall back down, and you're taking your body back out? Yep. Okay, yep. Up. Yep, and you're sitting next to men and now. I confused myself with my own antics. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, six Zelfa, or not six Zelfa, six yep. Percy. Uh, are you still heading up? I'm um, sure. Yeah. I have no issues with being the sixth body. Yep, okay. Uh, yeah. you, bo you both, as the, the other two are sitting down, you both start to head up the stairs. And um, I'll show you what you can see in just a moment. In the meantime, um, Zelfer, Menon. I'm just sitting there opening my book and going and writing about how boobs feel. Nice. Okay. Uh... Go ahead. Mark at this. Uh. <laughs> It's a very strange thing to hear your own voice call out, Marcus, <laughs> from a different body. But you guys start heading up, and to the right now um, of the map you were previously on, you can see um, the new one. You are on the second story now of this tower, you guys heading up together, and it appears to be some sort of magic lab, perhaps? Or some enchanting room it's hard to say but there's well it looks like what it looks like on the screen Marcus you're nothing no. except for the clanging of somebody's thermos <laughs> Actually, I feel like that's a can of fruit <laughs> now I'm hungry for a can of fruit Zelfer uh... oh Anything? just keep looking around okay. can I inspecting everything Investigating, if you will. Okay. Um, you're just gonna investigate this floor. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah you can roll investigation. Uh, uh, I think I will. Menon makes a break. Okay. Menon makes a break in her own body. Uh, Zelfer, you're gonna try to stop her passing through. Uh, I'm gonna move farther away from the door. Okay, you move further away, and then uh, I need everybody but Zelfer to roll a d4. Everybody yeah, but Zelfer, roll a d4. But I like Six's body. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. <laughs> I literally... I, <laughs> I literally need all three of you to roll again. <laughs> Let me guess, nothing would have changed. Or everyone would have ended up back in their own bodies? No. Uh, okay. Then, Menon, as you pass through, pass through the threshold again, the pounding headache, as you open your eyes, you're in Percy's body, and Percy, you are in Menon's. 
and you find yourself ah. on the second floor, Menon, and, and this big hulking body. Feeling again in this big hulking body, and Percy, you're in this big titted body <laughs> on the bottom Just, floor. I'm gonna Hell immediately yeah. start like feeling my muscle and, and my stomach like, oh hell. Yeah, and, and so as you get distracted, Six, you still rolled investigation, uh, looking around. What exactly are you trying to figure out here? Or do, uh, you can just give a general well, first, look around. First I'm, first, I'm trying to figure out whose body I'm in. You're still in... Oh. No, no, I was in Percy. If yeah. Did you would be Percy, back on your own. If Percy's in Menon. You're in your own. Sweet! Uh, uh, Alright, right. I'd like to walk up and me. look at Six and ask for my ring back. <laughs> Uh, so men and, yeah, men, and, men and Percy walks up. Yep. Uh, here you go. I think. Cool. Wait, am I handing it to Menon? <laughs> Percy, I say. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> you'd see, you'd see Percy just kind of like feeling himself up and shit. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm that's look at either six uh, body and say I'm, or... I'm Percy now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hand just over the key just there, so everything's ring, clear, sorry. six is six. Zelfer is Zelfer. Percy and Menon have switched. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, now that we're back to normal. Uh. Hello. Is there anyone here? Do I hear anything? You hear an echo of your voice throughout the these stone walls. Okay. Is any any of this magic-looking stuff? Uh, look expensive. Uh, with your investigation, you can tell there are some there are some vials and some bones of strange creatures you've never seen. You can imagine are exotic that would probably suck to lose. Okay, all right, and some vials, you say? Yep. I'll go, go ahead and take some vials. I mean, it seems like why not? not? Sure. All right, hand full of vials goes into the inventory. Yep. All right. Uh, is, is there a green thing on the table? Yes, oh, there's a large no. green orb. A orb, if you will. No, I, I honestly don't think I won't this time. Uh, Zelfer, in your own body, are you doing anything on in the in the first floor? No, I'm just sitting. Actually, I will kind of open my bag and go. Is there anything fun in here? <laughs> Would you like me to read off my equipment? Roll a religion check. I'm I'm in I'm in your body. Oh. Yeah. oh. Right. <laughs> what what's that family guy thing where Peter? Wait, was? Holden, I'm using a luck point. Go ahead. Which uh I don't think anyone else could have ever figured out how to use. Boy, okay. I do feel lucky. Is Reaching that what would happen to your bag? What do you mean? If, let's say, Menon was still in my body and she wanted to use a luck point, would she just say, I feel lucky? <laughs> Technically, or, it, she could. But would it be allowed to, given that I never showed him how that works? Mm, if she was unaware of you, yeah, no. she. Well, no, because well, the luck feat is literally just you being a lucky individual, um, which well, is tied to your, I assume, your soul rather than your body. Right? Uh, what kind of feats does uh, Menon have? Feats. She has feeties. <laughs> How many toes? <laughs> uh, Zelfer, you reach into your bag. Uh, is there anything new in here? Uh, and you feel something smooth. Oh, I pull it out. It's just a v very shiny, smooth stone. <laughs> I, I uh, look at. I look down at the ground and go, is "This kind of some some kind of fucking joke." I don't like stones. What's well, so that episode of uh, Family Guy appear and Lois switch body and then Peter goes nah, heh, 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 with the tits? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Percy's doing. <laughs> I mean, Ben is doing pretty much the exact same thing. So. <laughs> with your pecs. Fucking you're helicoptering. Just, you're sitting over. This is the most sexual thing that's happened without actual sex. Like, you guys are just feeling each other up, but yourselves up, but. <laughs> I'm gonna spend 10 minutes. Am I technically hitting any bases with this? Are I, you arousing yourself? I don't know, you haven't answered my question. Dude, yet. I think you're hitting second base. Wait, what was your question? How you're... big how big your dick? I don't remember You've the value for I it. Down, but I don't remember what I rolled for. You can guess just by the size of this man that it's it's fine. 
epic. Is Percy arousing Menon's body? So, Zelfa, if you're going to sit there and cast Identify for 10 minutes... Ignored. If you're going to sit there and cast Identify for 10 minutes, uh, everybody else, you have time to play. What are you doing? I pick up the orb. Okay, it is heavy, but you're able to do so. I put it in my backpack. You, you are not going to be able to carry this thing very far, buddy. <laughs> oh, how, how heavy is it? Um, you would guess just by kind of picking it up, it's maybe, uh, somewhere between 60 and 90 pounds. Eden, what's your strength score? My strength score is not much. Um, I, I don't want it. Oh. oh, is that meta? Don't give each, you can, your body? yeah, oh, sorry, you I can kind of, thinking. you can make a guess. I, I, Mine's you, only you'd... slight. Slightly you, above average and just enough for yeah. backhand. I will allow you guys to give each other, like, you know, descriptions, not actual numbers. Okay. Is it... Can I just say the range? Is it lower than 15? Yeah. She already gave you the number. She, t she told you I 12, but... I legitimately did not hear well, it. That's she fine. for me. It's so. fine. You know that you know it's 12. That's fine. But, yeah, from okay. now on, just give descriptions. Like, ah, oh, a little above uh, average or not great. Not thinking about that, I summon the Black Blade. Is it, It's still the same weight as it was when Percy was holding it. Yep. You're able to hold it, but it's like, oh. <laughs> Epic. It is I, kinda look at her and go, I can't use this. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Please? I. No. Please? Nope. <laughs> Please? I. No. Actually, not even slightly. I just want to hold it. Can I just hold it for a second? If you please? think about the other sword. <gasps> I think real hard about the other sword. It appears in your hand. <laughs> that one won't make you kill people. I'm gonna, the other one. I'm gonna just oh. start swinging it in the air. Ignore the voices. <laughs> yeah. What? what? Uh... <laughs> Six, it would be uh, a very, uh, very deep man voice. Investigating over there. Uh... It appears to be some sort of chimney. There's no fire in it at the moment, but there's there's ashes. Okay. Thank you. Right. Well, I'm coming back for this orb, Not. but we should probably search the rest of this place if you guys are done searching yourselves. I, um, hold up. Hold him. After yeah. t uh, has 10 minutes elapsed yet? No, not at all. Once 10 minutes elapsed, I'm going to pull out my, my wire and go, throw anything interesting down here. That's not going to happen for a while. Okay. You, you've maybe three minutes have passed. <laughs> Percival's body is doing push-ups. <laughs> Man, it, it feels so okay, weird guys. to be able to do push-ups this efficiently. <laughs> Just giggling and doing push-ups. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Six is walking around the outer edge here. Mm -hmm. There are um, shelves and cupboards and more, it seems to be more alchemical and magical ingredients and such. I feel like Zelfer would have a good time up here. Uh, Alright, well, I'll walk back around past these guys again doing push-ups and shit. That, <laughs> that looks fun, guys. I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look at uh, Six and I'm going to say, hey, watch this. Ah, spiders! <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Thanks, man. I worked really hard on that one. It's like an instinct. Wait, does like? Oh yeah, Percy, wait, wait. Can't, Percy suddenly can't feel emotions. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I walk back and I say, uh, Mister Percy. <laughs> I mean, I you're... believe Mister Six is downstairs. Wait. Six is still in Six's body. Or currently in Six's own body. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Zelfa? Did you guys swap bodies again? I believe so. Uh, Mr. Six is... Uh, no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm going upstairs. Are you guys done? <laughs> Five minutes have uh, passed, Zelfa. Really funny. Can't feel emotions. 
<laughs> oh, that's right. Oh. I mean, it can't be that much different. Yeah, Percy, you, 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 you're like, you feel like you might have gotten a little chuckle out of that, but you just feel nothing. Great, man. That was really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It fucking sucks, doesn't it? Now I have an excuse to be an asshole. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. As Enjoy Six, it. as himself, is going to continue heading up, um, I'm going to reveal the next bit of this tower. Um, Ooh. Yes, small green orb. Six, you would be coming up from here. Excellent. Um, guys, hello? Hey. Um, is anyone up here? It's just a no large, one? empty bedchamber. Alright. I, I do note this smaller green orb. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it a smaller green orb? It looks similar, yes. <laughs> I, I picked that one up and put it in my pocket. It's a little heavy again, but uh, that okay. you won't be able to fit in your pocket, but it's about 10 pounds. You can fit uh, it in your back. It'll kind of suck, but, you know, All right, cool. 10 pounds. You're, 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 you're fit. You're fine. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, is there any anything else of interest? Can I just do, like, a general investigation check or something? Yeah, go ahead. Please do. All right. We're investigating, looking for... You know, anything interesting looking, expensive interest. looking thing. Yeah. Um, Value. The, there is one in here. There, there's various uh, foods. There's some water. Um, nothing too intriguing. Okay. And the, the bed is very nice. The rug is very nice, but old. Check under it. Under the bed? Yeah. You nothing. find the boogeyman. But with that uh, investigation okay. roll, you, you would know there are two things in this room that would be very interesting. First, the massive ornate book. On the desk. Okay. All right. Next, what appears to be a humanoid skull on the desk as well, but it's very thin and slender. Slenderman thin was here. Slender. Hmm. Uh, All right. Percy Menon. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'd like my body back, but you know, I can't really. Uh... Too bad it's mine now. Yeah. And I'm gonna run up it. the. I'm gonna run up the stairs to follow six. Yep, you sure do. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm following. Okay, you guys head up to find six uh, examining the desk. Uh, Zelfer, about ten minutes have passed. Um, you're casting Identify on this little stone. I'm going to bring you to Secret Secrets. <coughs> casting Identify on it, you can tell this was given to you from a deity. The deity. You know who. Thanks. Yeah. It's been a real good talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not done. This stone contains something similar. You're familiar with dispel magic. It contains something similar to dispel magic, but it's stronger. It's like dispel magic on steroids. I now know how to use it. You don't quite know how to. Uh, mm, actually, that, identify kind of tells you that. If I say it does. There. Um it's your discretion, I forgot. Yeah. You're right though. Um you would know that in order to discharge this strong dispelling of magic, all you need to do is apply some force to the rock. Oh. You don't know exactly like what the range of it will be or if it's just on contact, but you know there's strong dispel magic and just basically hitting something with the rock will cause it to emanate. I uh, This is gonna be stupid. I grab my quill. On my arm, I write, whoever t gets this body, hit the rock. Call get everyone together and then hit the rock. Okay. Action, no, I, I write, get everyone together w with this rock. Don't touch, don't use it for anything else yet. Okay. Then I cross over the threshold. Okay. Everybody roll me a d4. Oh, damn it. Can I do what I was going to do first? What were you doing? Uh, I said I'd like my body back, and Menon said, okay, fuck you. So I was going to take her violin out and prep Eldritch Blast in my hand. <laughs> so as you're prepping uh, uh, Menon, you see your I own violin. I would have left to, like, out of it. No! And mid-leap, you're all rolling d4s for me. Oh god, um, I can figure this out. Um, I just can... do whoever we haven't gotten <laughs> no, yet. No, no, there's there there is actually a system to this. It's not random. 
Uh, I can work with those. Uh, so it's technically, fuck. <laughs> Give me one moment. Okay, again, and then. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So there's that. Okay. Actually, that, well, that almost worked, as you said. Um, so, mid-leap. Um, let's see. First off, Menon. You, you, you all feel that pounding headache. You open your eyes, and Menon, you're in Zelfer's body. You look down, and you're holding a note and a rock. Um, six, you appear in Menon's body. You are holding an Eldritch Blast, which begins to fade. And Percy, in his own body, is leaping toward you. Uh... <laughs> so six is in Menon. Menon is in Zelfer. Zelfer is in six, and Percy is Percy. I head back down to the group and go, "Let's go downstairs. I can fix this." I hit well, the no, 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 no. Yeah, no. Percy is <laughs> mid leap at Menon, or rather, Percy is mid leap oh, at uh, six. Six, you're holding a violin uh -huh. and and the Eldritch Blast. Percy, uh, roll a. Yeah, technically, you would roll in uh, a, a an athletics check. Yeah, I'm immediately going to try and, like, run up the stairs. Okay, and then in Menon's body... Menon, go ahead and roll. Contesting. No, this is Menon. Okay, um, what was it? This is fucking... Athletics or acrobatics. <laughs> Probably acrobatics for you. Yeah. Deception, just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Percy in Percy's body, uh, Six, you are tackled down the stairs. Are you trying to keep the violin intact? Wait, there's... Yes, absolutely. Uh, there okay. stairs? Yeah, she, she is at the stairs. God, man, and you're fucking idiot. Okay, idiot. so rolling down the stairs, the two of you land at the bottom, back in the laboratory. You just barely managed to keep the violin intact. <laughs> uh, and then, Zelfer, you're in Six's body at, at a desk examining some things. I go all the way downstairs until I find everyone. I'm just gonna walk. Okay, so you go to down the stairs and find these two on the ground together. Uh, I, I'm th I thought didn't, uh, Eden said she was coming upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you all kind of meet back up here in the lab. Oh, Miss Mena, you who's in my body? <laughs> Pointing to my give body. Me give me back my violin, motherfucker. Hey, can I see that rock for a second? Sure. I, I grab it and I hit it on the ground as close to us as possible. I ask a Menon's body for the ring back. I've you, already... You smash, smash it on the ground and nothing happens. I, I go, fucking Menon, you're in my body. I know. <laughs> Do you take this and hit it against the floor? Sure. I'll take it and I'll throw it on the floor. You throw it on the ground and clunk, 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 clunk. The what? You throw it on the ground and it just kind of rolls across the floor. The, the what? My ring? No, the... No, the, the, the stone. <laughs> The rock. When Menon woke up in Zelfer's body, she was carrying a note and a stone. A known. Well, this is just annoying. <laughs> I think that's the point, <laughs> Zelfer. Not you. I mean, Hard not to throw it. Wrong. Okay, Man, I, I, I need to take him to Secret Secrets for like two seconds, because this is my fault. I should have... I You would know that it needs to... It, it's not going to do anything unless it comes into contact with magic. Like, it's not going to dispel magic if there's no magic there. Okay. Let's go back. Then. Sorry, that's my fault for not explaining as, as well. Give me my ring back. Um, I, okay. Um, try this. Touch it to me. I hold up my arm. I'm just going to go boop with the rod. I ran, shows up. Okay. Um, so who... So technically, Zelfer's body... Is using the rock, uh, yes? Yes, Zelfer's body is touching okay. Six's body. There is a blast of arcane energy all around you guys. And you're all back in your own bodies. Oh, fucking hell. I put the rock away. It is, <laughs> you can tell, it's just a plain smooth stone now. And then you start to hear some, like, up above you guys. It sounds like several, several floors above you still. You start to hear some panicked, like, whispers. Like, they're loud, like, like stage whispers. Like, oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, what are, ah! And there's like people talking and freaking out. But it's some ways up. Hey, uh, um, hey this guys. Man, 
You have nice breasts. Mr. Six? Thanks. And I wink. <laughs> At Six as I walk by and touch his butt. And start heading upstairs. <laughs> I, uh... I, uh... Feel a little dirty. <laughs> start heading up the stairs. I'll take my bio uh, and put it back in my pack. I, uh, I like my ring I, back. I say... I, I, I managed not to break that. And I didn't fill you up either, so just remember I that. <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. Much as it doesn't sound <laughs> like it, I very much appreciate it. I deadass thought you said filled her up, and I was like, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright. Mm. Uh, mm, okay. Zelfer. Uh, I, I I would very much like to go back and examine that book. Okay. <clears throat> so, Six, you go back and examine the book. Opening, you guys watch him. Are you going to walk up the stairs with him? Uh, first, I'm going to roll the orb down the stairs. The big orb. The large orb? Okay, so you're going to take a few moments. It's oh! How and are you going to do this? It's very I'm gonna, heavy. Not, it's an orb, so it rolls, right? Could, but it's a, it gonna... feels like it's glass. Like thick glass. <laughs> How thick? I'm gonna glass. I'm gonna tap on it. Uh, roll a, an investigation check for me. You can tell if you were to drop this to the ground and roll it down the stairs, it would probably at least crack. I'll be back for you. <laughs> I'll head up to follow. Okay. So you guys head up. Um, Woo. and with six. Uh, back in this l very nice looking bedchamber um, you examine this large ornate book with like a, like a, a, a sun like symbol carved into the front and painted you open up this leather bound book and just glancing through quickly you, you can tell it's some sort of diary hmm okay um, you, you, why you, not you, take the diary yeah you can investigate further if you'd like or up to you. Uh, and you gather Maybe later. from the diary, you can also gather the name of the owner uh, is Cassandra. Cassandra. Okay. Copy that, and I will investigate that more later. Sure. So you have Cassandra's diary. Uh, um, Zelfer, what do you make of this skull? This what? Skull. Skull? Skull. Skull. Sorry, skull. skull. I, oh, I, I, I uh, skull. pick it up, and uh, I would like to know what type of skull it is. Roll an investigation. Mm, no. Okay. Um, you're not entirely sure. Well, actually, I didn't declare this before. I believe, given your background, you might have advantage on this, wouldn't you? Yeah, it doesn't make much of a difference, does it? Well, no, but I didn't declare that before, so I'd allow you to roll again. Sweet. Watch me roll even worse. That'd be fun. That's intimidation, not investigation. <laughs> okay, there we go. And you rolled even worse. <laughs> okay, worse. so we'll take the 13. Um, You're not exactly sure. It's definitely humanoid. It's not human, though. It's far too slender and thin. You can gather it might be a high elf, a wood elf, a half elf even. It's some sort of elf, perhaps. Hmm. Well, Mr. Mr. Six and Mr. Six's body... Mm -hmm. This thing yes. picks up the skull. Well, I don't know how important it is, and I would like to throw it down the stairs. I'm uh, saying I'm not doing that. I'm saying it, just to clarify. Uh, okay, I see. I'm throwing this skull down the stairs. Nothing. I throw it down the stairs. Then it cracks, and you hear it clattering as it falls apart into pieces and falls down the stairs. <laughs> uh, bone on stone, man. <laughs> oh, bone your stone. Hell yeah. <laughs> We're a bit of a rough party, aren't we? Um, I, I head further upstairs. For a oh, moment, Mr. you're like, are we the bad guys? Hold on. <laughs> are, are, you, Mr. Six, are we the one, bad guys? Mr. Six, one thing. Yes, yeah. Is that I feel violated by what they did to us. I, I understand. I don't feel anything. On the way out, I would like to burn everything. Okay. 
I understand that you would like to do that. All right, as long as we're on the same page. Um, I think perhaps we are. I just fear that mine has a large red F at the top. <laughs> In this okay. minute, if you would like to f get feelings, work on that yourself. Stop complaining all the time. We can't fix it, okay? I'm gonna start heading upstairs. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with my staff. Okay. Um, don't blame her. Are you oh, trying to do damage? Are you just giving him a yes. good RP smack? Okay. I am trying then to do damage. You can roll the hit then. Let's see. Um, so how do I do it with both hands? <laughs> it would be a D10. Does... It's a D8. Okay, then yeah, a D8. Sorry. Yeah, that, please. <laughs> the meme I just posted to Dreadful D8. Timber, my brother just okay. sent me that out of the way. Um, a D8 plus two. You have to hit me first. Yeah, right, I know. God. Whoa. Do you know you have to hit him first? Yes. Okay. But he is who you have to hit first. <laughs> Can't stop that. Okay, that's going to be three damage if she clocks you in the back. As you turn turn away, I I don't even look back. I just keep walking. Epic. <laughs> on the bright side of all the things I was planning on saying, that was the nicest. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, uh, upstairs. All right, you guys continue upstairs. Um, Percy got his ring back, right? I didn't stop it, so. I mean, I, I asked like three times, but I'm not sure if anybody heard. We can assume. I would you give the ring back? I mean, whoever's in Menon's body would have the option to. Well, Menon. Oh well, this was before that then. This was when Six was still in Menon's body. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Let's I say it over. for this. Yeah, for the sake of expediency, you get your ring back. You're all okay. good. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So you guys head up to the next level uh, and okay. find yourselves in it appears to be another bed chamber but um, not nearly as nice put it to put it nicely uh, and there's no one up uh, not that you immediately see no okay uh, I investigate at least they have beds yeah, you can roll an investigation check if you want to thoroughly look around. He sees the beds and starts to lick his lips. Okay. <laughs> uh, you you kind of move through and give each room a good up and down, and it doesn't appear to be anything of note. Okay. And is, does this appear to be the top? No, there's more stairs. There are more uh, stairs uh, heading up. Though you can hear up now, the stairs, rain is the rain and thunder going? is getting louder. You you feel like you're about. You can okay. actually see a little bit of uh a little bit of rain trickling down from the top up here. You imagine the next level must be the top. We're and at this point, you can hear, clouds. you can still hear, like, you can still hear hushed, like, arguing from above. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll walk slowly as I... Yes, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Six, can I knock? Um, I don't think there's a door. Minor no. illusion. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> there's a knock, knock, knock. And the hushed, whispering, and, like, arguing stops for a moment. And then slowly picks back up. Uh, I don't, um, don't seem to care that we're going upstairs. Sure. As I slowly, slowly walk up, I say, uh, we don't want any trouble. We, uh, we were looking for a friend of ours that may or may not have come this way. Okay, I assume the rest of you guys are following. Mm -hmm. I need yep. an order. Uh, uh, I'm staying away one. from, uh, Menon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just start. I... I'm assuming I'll six would be in front. Yeah, I'll march behind. Yeah, I'll take one. Okay. Then I will be six behind in the back. Come in. Percy Zelfer. As you guys come up top here, um, and and six is announcing, we don't want any trouble. Um, you can all Zelfer, you're just barely peeking over, and you can see these two lovely women dressed in fine dresses and you know, all dolled up, kind of harshly whispering at each other, and then they see you guys coming up, and they hear six. And the, the the one in blue goes, Well, if you didn't want any trouble, why did you go banging down the door? 
They go burning our supplies. Uh, Are you kidding no, me? I get it. No, uh, what I said though was we were coming inside. <laughs> I love you. And, and then the, the the one in the in the purple just kind of leans over and they're they're whispering at each other, and looking over at you, trying to you know, and they're trying to keep their conversation to themselves and watching you guys. Does the name Marcus mean anything to you? They're looking over at you and whispering, and eventually the one in the purple just grabs the one in the blue. She goes, "No, no, sister, don't!" And the perp the one in the purple just hurls the 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 one in the blue dress off of the crack here, all the way down, and you hear a ah! as she as she falls. I jump after her. <laughs> Are you actually going to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need you. Then you guys watch as six rushes over and jumps after the one in the blue dress. I need you, then, to... How about you roll me a general dex check? Okay. Uh, oh, not a save. Uh, it's right here. I, I'm so surprised. Okay. That you're that stupid. I know <laughs> you're jumping off. You're going to try and catch her and use your... Uh, Ability. Uh, so the the plan would be to uh, see if I could grab her, uh, attempt to slow both of us with uh, with my, uh, my my slow fall ability. Okay. As you watch the you guys watch as the one in the purple dress hurls the one in the blue blue dress off. She screams. Six runs after and dives down. And six, you can stop yourself, but okay, you're yeah. a bit with yeah you're a bit too late. But you watch as you start to slow your descent. She does the same feet before she lands and then looking down you can see her form has changed and she is now a grotesque yellow boil faced creature and she looks up at you and hisses and begins to run away you you took the bait uh okay uh and you slowly descend and fall and hit the ground okay Where, which, I, I take note of which direction she leaves sure thing uh, the rest of you up top, what are you doing? The one in purple is now eyeing all of you. Oh, as soon as she threw her, I, I jumped her. My dagger in hand. Then I need everyone to roll initiative. I know we're getting a little late here, but I have this This might be quick. <laughs> Get the initiative tracker up. Oh god, forbid I don't click on my character, Jesus. Oh my god, it's the fucking worst. Oh my god. Ha, first like, you know what I'm gonna do, though. Well, thanks, Six. Uh, I'm glad you have the highest initiative. <laughs> <laughs> and are nowhere to be found. Yeah, you just... I just mean, you know. <laughs> okay. And then one more. Oh, fuck, I gotta do this. Bop. Cutie. Okay, let me just reorganize this real quick. And we start because I know you have a higher dex. We're gonna start with <laughs> six, who is now at the just just now landing at the bottom safely. Are you um? Uh, don't you? How does that ability work exactly? I just need to. Uh, I don't recall. I, uh, yeah. I, was we'll just it something up. like you. I negate some some odd feat. Yeah. Um, also, I'm gonna take some damage probably. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure you still take damage from this one. Let's see. Oh, I may not have added it in yet. My bad. Okay. Uh, what is uh, what is it Slow called? Slow fall. Slow fall. Slow fall. Five E monk. Uh, let me look at this real quick. Uh, slow fall. Here we go. You get it at fourth level. Fantastic. Uh, slow fall. Beginning at fourth level, you can use your reaction when you fall to reduce any falling damage you take by an amount equal to five times your monk level. Okay. So you can negate up to 30 damage then? Uh, 35. 35? Oh, yes, you guys just leveled up. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I remember when I described the first floor as 20 feet tall? Yeah. So you are 100 feet up. So I'm going to roll 10d6, which could p p potentially still do damage to you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, wow, or maybe not. Okay. Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs> Guess how much damage I rolled. 
36? Exactly 35. <laughs> <laughs> so you land. Sweet. Yeah, you feel you feel as you land, you're just reaching the cusp of your abilities, and you, and you land safely. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, thank Epic. you. All right. Well, um. Oh shit! You just jumped. You dove a uh, hundred feet and landed safely, and you're watching this, this, this grotesque woman-like creature running away from you to yeah. the north. If uh, if he steps back in, we're gonna use body swap again, aren't we? I was just thinking about that, um, but that's probably what I'm gonna do anyway. Uh, thinking that perhaps whatever the stone thing did just negated the whole trap. I don't know. Uh, but at least I'll get up there quickly. I don't know whose body I'll be in, but I'll get up there quickly. I swear to God, six. <laughs> okay, so you used a reaction, but you have you can action and dash, yeah? All right, yeah, I dash. Okay. So my normal movement is 45, so as far as I can get. Okay, give me one moment here. Uh, so that's 5, 10, 15, okay. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. Or it would be 90 then, yep. So, running 90, yeah. all the way around this massive fucking tower, you reach the entrance and start heading inside. Phew! Okay. Okay. Uh, that's going to bring us to this one, who is going in front of you guys to seeing men and draw daggers. She's going to be like, I, I wouldn't... I, oh, fuck it! And she's going to change forms in front of you. You watch as the dress falls away and tatters, and... Her blonde hair slowly coalesces into like a, a horned mask over her head, and this gro this this freaky creature appears in front of you. With arc this creature, if you will, uh, with arcane purple energy emanating from its hands. That has to be her whole turn. So, oh, what, what did I just do? Uh, did I? Oh wait, haha! <laughs> I see what I did. Um, whoops! Different token. Seventeen. Right after Zelfer, and let me just fix the initiative here. Bop, 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 bop. And it is Zelfer's turn. And no one's near her, right? Not that you can see. You're peeking over? No. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I want to, but I'll pass. I'm gonna. Can I get past them, people? Can you get, uh, you could rush past people on the stairs or climb up would probably be a bit easier. I would, I'm going to try to get up there. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'll say half your movement. You could just hoist yourself up. Okay. So 15. Yeah. And that's how much it would take. Yeah. Well, so you're 20, there. 25, 30. Yep. And I don't see anyone up here but her. You don't see anyone other than your two companions and her. Well. Then I'm going to throw a big ball of fire right there. Okay. I'm going to smash it into the wall behind her. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, she has to make a deck saving throw. Okay. She will do so. Uh, let me pull up her stats. She has... Okay. Big boy damage. Big boy damage. Big boy damage. That is a 14. Uh, that is a fail, and she takes 19 damage because I rolled two ones. Oof. Okay. 19 damage it is. So you guys watch as Elfa jumps up, hurls a fireball directly behind her, and the blast hits her in the back. She wasn't expecting it as she's changing forms. She screeches out, You'll pay for that! Well, I assume I will. <laughs> Lady, I don't even pay for my own drinks. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm hot! Oh. Nice. Well, I think that's... Yep, yeah, that's going to end my turn. Okay. Then that's going to take us to Menon, who pulls out a dagger and is fucking ready oh, to go. I've had, oh, I've had it out. Yep. Yeah. I was originally contemplating slitting my own throat, but I'm going to try and kill this lady instead. Uh, that was going to be my worst comment. Is If you want emotions back so bad, kill yourself. And then I would have gone up the stairs. Oof. Um, she was considering it up until this point. Like, legit considering it. Five, meta, ten, meta, meta. Meta, meta, meta. All right, and I'm gonna try you and just stab rush her. her in the. I'm gonna try and stab her in the throat. Go for it. Man, eighty six did not do well for me. No, I really didn't. 
pay for this, you bitch. Digger, digger, digger. Okay. Uh, you rush her with a oh, dagger. Not what I thought you and, said. Yeah, you, <laughs> you <laughs> rush her with a dagger. And uh, you swing at her, and she she kind of like fluidly, almost as if she were, almost as if she were spectral, but she doesn't appear to be spectral. Kind of just whooshes out of the way, as you in anger just slash at her. Anger. A little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um. At this point, then she's gonna get up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay. And that's gonna bring us to Percival. Um, womp, <laughs> womp, womp. Bop, bop, These potato chips. I think I'm just. Blood. I'm not gonna bring out my black blade, but I am gonna uh, shoot her a few slashes from my sword. Okay. So you're gonna run up to her. Uh, you have the movement. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, you can get up to her. You got two yeah. slashes. Both of those are going to fucking hit for a total of eight damage. So, man, with you have her distracted. Uh, Percival runs up next to you and just starts slashing with his long sword and cuts. Uh, I feel like that damage is not correct. Oh, zero plus four. That is not correct at all. Yes, yeah, because you didn't roll any <laughs> dice. But I thought I entered sword. that. Nope, you do not Fuck have that in. me, dude. I will. A long sword is, uh, is that a D8? I think it is a D8. And then you can just roll 2D8 and we'll add it. Alright, I added it then. I thought that was pretty low damage. Me too. Wow. <laughs> <You don't see. laughs> okay, he starts slashing into her and she screeches out again. Let's see, so that's going to bring her down to... Okay. Thank you. And six. I, are you still running up? I am sprinting up the stairs. Take another dash. You got it. So it's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Jesus Christ. 70, 75, 80, 80, 85, 90. You are halfway up the laboratory already. <laughs> yeah. You're moving right, fast. Right. And, okay. Uh, we did not sh shift bodies. Yeah. You did not. You passed through, right. passed through the I threshold and nothing happened. Um, Shoot. I was really hoping you guys would enter combat with that, but... That would have been way cool, but you know what? Okay. Um, that would have been fun. Yeah, it would have been, but somebody decided to uh, use. Oh boy. Uh, so. Somebody decided to be a party pooper. Just say it. <laughs> no, uh, I might explain later, uh, or you'll find out. Um, party see, pooper. So she's gonna go ahead and cast a spell. Looking over it, you wait. Where the fuck did Zilfer go? What? Why where am I? Why are there black boxes on the map? I'm right here. Why? Who? Who's doing no. that? Error. Can you not? Okay. Uh, looking Could over at the one who cast a fireball at her, she she points at you, Zelfer. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as she begins to um, uh. cast a spell at you. Actually, no. She doesn't even point at you. She just starts uttering some words. Boop. I'm going to use a luck point. Do you have another? Okay. I have three, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> a little bit better. Oh, well, it's a good thing you ca did that. Um, let's see. Finish turn. Okay, so you, you feel some some strange nightmares start to enter your head, and you shake them off. You're like, nope, 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 none of that. Nope. <laughs> Literally, as I start to feel nightmares, he goes, nope, nope, not today, not today. Yep, yeah, that is exactly. You start to like see nightmares in your head, and you start to see some remnants of what you imagine your past to be, and you're like, nope, 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 nope. Um, let's see, so then I, that is her action, so she's going to use her bonus action to eat my dick. Okay, uh, moving on to <laughs> Zelfer, it's back to your turn. Oh. Well, seeing as I've made myself a target, that's another one. I'm not going to use that one. Uh, fine. Mr. Percy, I uh, yeah. clap my hands together, go enlarge, and double his size. Okay. Wop, wop, wop. 
Uh, then I'm gonna 10, 20, 30. I go, hey, bitch, come back to me. Okay. Taunting the whore. It's a pussy. Okay. That's an assumption about her profession. Then Menon. Going to um, I'm going to I'm going to try and grab her by the throat and cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Blast. You, you can give me this advantage for it. I know it's a ranged thing. Yeah. Um. Technically, you would have disadvantage. I'm trying to think of how you... Mm, yeah. Okay, you can roll a hit. Sure. And then... There it is. Bam. Uh, but I technically need another d20 rolled for that. Plus your... your, your I believe it's six. Mm. Yes. Wait, hold on while I... It's plus ceiling. Um, <laughs> well, I need a d20 plus, plus, uh, plus zero, plus seal, uh, plus zero, plus six, plus zero, 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 plus uh, one e10. Okay. Bam, bitch. So you grab her You grab her by the throat, and her, her head, so that's seven fourths damage, her head kind of reels back in an unnatural way, and you can hear the crack of what sounds like bones as her head reels back. You still manage to get the Eldritch Blast off and um, hit like the, the top of her head with it, and she screeches out once more, doing seven seven damage. But she, you you are holding her throat, and she is, or at least you're like you know her hand your hand is near her throat, and she her head is like completely backwards almost in an unnatural way. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay, so then this is gonna be. Uh, can I use the? Uh, can I say a couple of words with her as a bonus action? Sure. Just... Damn bitch, you fugly. <laughs> Damn bitch. <laughs> this is mockery. <laughs> okay, she's I don't gonna think do I that. can use that as a bonus action. No, you can't. Okay, Percival. I'm um, big. Great, though. He big boy. Um, real big boy, gonna take two real big thwacks at her. Real, real big thwacks. Big thwack thwack. That is. You add a d4 to both of those if they hit. I could use cutting words, but it's a oh, reaction. Uh, okay, so the first one does not hit. The second one is a nat 20 and certainly does. Uh, your crit damage is in, we'll just call it 10. Uh, you get it to add a d4. Okay, so 13 damage. As the first one, with her, you didn't expect her head to be fucking swiveled back as it is. So you swing and it goes just wide of her head as the Eldritch Blast hits. And you bring the blade back and dr bring, drive it right into his shoulder as she screeches out once more. <laughs> you guys are fucking her up, Jesus. Not supposed to be alone, but it's kind of yeah, how it I go worked out. It is ugly. Yeah. Shit. Uh, six, you get another dash up. Yeah, do I run into whoever this is? 10, 15, 20. And as you get, uh, without using your dash yet, you run into what appears to be um, a. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you run into, and she also. <gasps> and she, there's this like very scared looking young woman in a blue dress. Yeah, she, 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 human, and she appears to be maybe in her late teens, early 20s, She's and she looks terrified. She kind of, like, extends her hands towards you, like, I, I, no, I, I, looks terrified. Punch the shit out of her. Uh, uh, I stop, and I say, who are you? I, 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 you sound like the Rat King. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah, she's gonna make a check. Bella! Bella, we're not here to hurt you. Were you prison? <laughs> As we beat the shit out of something. <laughs> <laughs> she just continues to stammer, and that's the end of your six seconds. Out with it, boy! That's a girl. Out with it. I know, but I was gonna bring mimicking us back Mr. to Krabs. her. Um, then she's going to look up at Percival, and her eye's going to turn black, and I need Percival to roll 
a wisdom save. Epic, man. <sighs> Bella ain't too hot. Ain't she a nasty hoe? Oof. Okay. Let's see. I don't think Proceed. your Proceed. enlarged spell Proceed. technically ends. No, because I'm the one controlling it. Yeah. So, Percival, you are now frightened of this creature. You see the black eye looks into yours, and looking into it, it's like a sea of nightmares. Everything you don't want to see, and everything oh, within you. Hot, but not Jesus, yeah, dude. everything within you is telling you to run. And on each of your turns from here on out, you're you're frightened. You must take the dash action and move away from this creature to the safest to a safe place as fast as you can. And this is the th this using is the oh ugly using guy that transformed right. Here's the spell says using the safest and shortest available route. I'll let you do with that what you will. Okay. So you are now frightened that you need to use your dash action to run away. Um. But it's not your turn. Uh, it's going to bring us to Zalfur. You, you I'm see, jump out of the building. You see this creature look up at Percival, and as he's readying another swing, he, he locks and begins to quiver. Well, that wasn't very nice. I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. Okay. All at her. Do it. Do it now. Just, oh, damn. Trace. Okay. I wish I could roll higher than one. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so that is going to be that is obvious, it's going to be two hits. It's for yeah. eight damage, and she needs to make a concentration check immediately. Okay. Just a roll of concentration. Okay. Principal, you're still very frightened. Epic. Epic game spooky. Menon, what are you doing? I'm gonna back up a little bit and try to put some fucking crossbow bolts into her face. You're backing away from her? Yeah, she. I know she gets an attack of yep. opportunity. Okay. But yeah, I'm backing up so that I can do most of my attacks. Gotcha. Okay, uh, then she's going to roll to hit. As she now, from from her from where the purple aura and arcane energy was uh, coalescing around her hands, you see large claws for hands. She swipes at you. That is a twenty-two to hit. Yeah. Okay. Hits. So that's going to be uh, fourteen slashing damage as she, she slashes across your chest as you move How away much? from her. Fourteen slashing damage. Okay. As you move away from her. What's fifty-two minus fourteen? Uh, four, uh, 38. 38, yeah. Thank you. I'm bad at math. Or do college kids. <laughs> I'm not a math major. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> There's a reason I'm not. Okay. Neither was I. Well, then, then shut the hell your mouth. <laughs> yeah, shut the frick your heckin' <laughs> word hole, dude. Come on. Come on what? <laughs> I was about to ask. Minimum damage. Are you kidding me? All right, Blake has officially asked for a bukkake. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is that is a hit, and it kind of just gl glides across her shoulder. And th at this point, she's not paying as much attention to you as she turns to Zelfer. Uh, Do it, bitch! It, it is gonna be. It is now um, Bella's turn, and she kind of starts to back away from you, six, and she's like, I, I. I uh, help. Okay. And she just kind of moves out of the way for you to continue up the stairs, staring at you and kind of quivering in fear. Uh, uh, don't run off. There's another one down. There. Uh, and she nods vigorously. Okay. You'll okay. be here when I get back? She nods again. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be Percival. You need to use your dash action to get as far away from this creature as possible. Uh, looks like I'm running down the stairs. <laughs> Which you can barely yeah, fit through. Running. Um, what's your max movement? Uh, I believe uh, with dash 80. With dash 80, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, Alright, see so you guys later. <laughs> 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 70, 75, 80. You're just about to reach, actually. Uh, six, you would see Percival at the top of the stairs of the master bedroom you're currently in, just bolting down. 
All right. And six, it's your turn. <laughs> Uh, all right, I start uh, running upstairs. Uh, so I will dash and I will say, Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> that is the role play I'm here for. 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. You just barely reach that you're just reaching the top floor now with your dash. Uh, uh, okay, I add uh, as I get up there. Uh, She's already run off into the woods, person. Uh, okay. At this point, this creature, um, but men and you backed away. You didn't actually use your. Did you just back away five feet? You didn't actually move. I would otherwise. back away about ten feet. Okay. And she's going to use her move in 5, 10, 15, flowing through the air as if she were a specter of some sort, reaching out to grab you. Um,. Zelfer. Let's see. Uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. No, that I suck at. <laughs> yep. She reaches out with, with her giant claws and just touches your forehead. You try to dodge out of the way, but she just... Boop, just a little touch. And now... Let's see... You were in the nether. You're, you're now experiencing dreadful visions of your past and of everything you imagine your your past to be that you don't want to see. Um, and you also... Your hit point maximum is reduced by five. And you are five? also frightened and need to run away. This bitch is spooky. Okay, Zelfer, it is your turn. You need to run away. <laughs> Okay, so I'm frightened, right? Yep. And I have to use my action to dash, you said? Yep. Damn it. Because I have something that I would do if I was actually afraid. I have a sh uh, armor spell I would cast, but if I have to run, I'd run. It does specify that you do need yeah. to use your action to dash, yeah. yeah. You just need to yeah. sprint away from this. Um, fuck, I'm going to take an opportunity attack, aren't I? 20... 30. Yeah, but I'm going to leave her range, so she's going to try to hit me, right? 40. Uh, yeah, so you're just... Uh, what's your max movement speed? 30? Yeah, so 60 away. So 40... Denied. 50. So you're able to start making down the stairs. 6, you, you see a Zelfer just... No! And jumps <laughs> down like as well. Just fucking you, are also, you, twice. you are also going to... That is a 70 to hit. 17, I'm sorry. Not 70. Jesus. 17 to hit me? I'm going to okay. shield it. Technically, you can do that. Yeah, okay. Then it does not hit. You, you as, as you start to run away, no! You, you bring up a shield just in panic, and these giant claws slash down it, causing like a warbling of the arcane energy as you run away. Uh, Menon, it's your turn. You're watching your friends fucking run. <laughs> I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Okay. God damn shit. Damn, you being so slow. I have you. Oh, you're supposed to be loaded now. Contest. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that is just enough to hit. 54. So that does hit her. Let's see. I have so many spells to choose from. This is fun. Um. Let's see here. Oh, God. Oh. You yep. doing that? She is going to. She's going to look at you, Menon, and point her finger at you. Or no, it's not your turn. Uh, her turn. What the fuck? Never mind. I'm sorry. Um, I'm too wrapped up in her. Uh, it's actually Bella's turn. That's why I was confused. Um, hold, hold on. Make a saving throw. She's caught you under her charm spell. Right. <laughs> okay. Going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. And Percival, you're still technically. Oh, actually, are you? You're 20, 40. You're still technically within range. I'm 80 feet away, though. You are not. Ugh. You're running down a spiral staircase. Oh, fuck this bitch. 
right. but, but I'll make things wow. easier for you. As you continue to dash down, as you get to the lower level, to the second level here of the laboratory, you stop and you're like, what the fuck? And, you're, and you've left her range. And the frighten ends. Great, man. All right, time to charge back up the stairs. So you got like 10 feet of movement, you go back up. <laughs> Six, yep. you've just Terrific. reached the top. All right, I charge forward. Uh, and let's see, the uh, little spaces between the walls there, how tall are those? Uh, maybe two feet. All right, I bomb rush her and yep. try to uh, take her between uh, I'll say like right. Okay. Uh, take her straight off the uh, straight off the edge. Yeah, let's uh, make it a grapple check. So it's going to be athletics right. for your end. She can use athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Uh, let's back. see here. Hey what guys, her... you want to know something cool? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ha. If I were Polar bears dig their burrows underground. If I were a paladin, I could use one of my abilities to make all of you immune to being frightened. You know, maybe if you had a paladin character, that would have been cool. What did, yeah. what did, did you say? Athletics or acrobatics? You have to do athletics. Okay. Okay. And she rolled a 14, so you rush up to her and try to grab her, and she just, with her giant claws, pushes your hands away. Is it, is it too late to uh, use my uh, inspiration? I'm going to say no. You can use... Go ahead and re-roll it. All right. Uh, and... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, man. Hey, man, want to see what mine would be? <laughs> <laughs> and with her turn... Let's see. Six, as you're, like, trying to grapple with her and trying to grab her and she's moving out of your way, all of a sudden, poof, she turns into a bird and starts to fly away. She's oh, maybe, no, uh... Didn't. She's maybe 30 Do feet I away from you. Yes, you would. All right. I'm going to punch the fuck out of that bird. You get one punch. Uh, uh, there we go. One punch, man. And... <laughs> Boom. Oh, boy. What is the AC, actually? Oh, a bird? Probably. Well, <laughs> it's probably a kind of... It's either really... No, uh, there's it's a... I believe it has to be a specific bird. Ah, oh, fuck. Give me one moment. <laughs> because an ostrich would be different than. An ostrich isn't a bird, it's a crocodile. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, my mistake, I'm sorry. <laughs> huh. Yeah, she is just a crow. Uh, <laughs> I believe. That's, yeah, that's I, I think her AC is either, oh no, she'd have to be a raven, fuck. Uh, and her AC is 12, you certainly hit. That's nine bludgeoning damage. Great, <laughs> and I uh, stun her. Um, you can, but the thing is she starts flying away. Uh, I actually have to reveal this. She is about over here. She's about there. You punch her and she falls over. She, you, you, she, and she turns back into herself just over the ledge and begins falling down the ledge. <laughs> just in a plummet now. <laughs> Alright, hold on. All right. I'll take That's the question. Awesome. I wasn't going to ask it, but now I have to. What? If I were to jump out and fall and then teleport onto the ground, would I still take all that falling damage? I'm going to say n no. Cool. So now I have a way to negate falls. Awesome. So uh, as long as it's... Hmm, I'd probably... No. I, I think you could do that. I hate it, but I think you could do it. Epic. Yeah. That's a that's, that's a use of your teleport. Okay. Uh, so she's going to take... <laughs> um, also, 10d6 fall damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. She is very well bloodied. As she poof, lands on the ground, <laughs> Zelfra, she's now she's technically out of your range now. You're starting to run down here. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and you're good. Do I hear? Do I hear the thud? No. Where am I? You do not know she's down below. Okay. Bonus action. Expedious retreat. 
Okay. So, uh, Percy shrinks. Percy shrinks back down. Got it. Oh, that's tiny. <laughs> tiny. Oh, I tiny boy. Was huge while I was running by. I yeah. didn't note that in the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just... <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Percy, she's already running into the woods. Where are you going, Zelfer? Very large. Uh, back up. Yep. <laughs> how many How many feet is that from here to there? Uh, like 5, 10, 15... 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Cool, I, can st I still have an action. Can I, 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 I'm like, what happened to her? Uh, I, I point. All right, and I jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I don't take fall damage. Nope. Up to 100 feet, so. Yep, uh, so you just kind of glide back down. Uh, I'm going to try to land Good. here. <laughs> The coolest oh, way actually on my way on my falling down i can see her right yeah mid fall i'm gonna cast level three magic missile to fire five bolts i hate you okay so that is 1d4 plus 1d4 plus one so slash row 5d4 less five wow oh wow indeed okay so as you're falling, just doof, 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 <laughs> into her. I land. And you land uh, about 10, 15 feet away from her. Man, and you, you just watched all that go down. <laughs> okay. You just watched Zelfer just whoop, and fall. All right. So can can I uh, lean out and fire a crossbow um, bolt at her? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You have just enough movement to get to the edge, yeah. Okay, okie dokie, then I'll do that then. <laughs> um, what's the range on your crossbow bolt? Crossbow, though. Wait, does it matter since I'm firing down? Yeah. She's still 100 okay. feet away. Just, <laughs> you just, shoot something I... 305 feet away, and at the 300 mark, the, bo the bolt just vanishes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Into the void, it's just gone. <laughs> Let's see. It's 80 feet, so you would have disadvantage. 120 feet. What, for a crossbow? It's a hand crossbow. Oh, it's a hand crossbow. Oh, it's a hand crossbow. Oh, it's a hand crossbow. No, then it's 30 feet is your... You have 120 feet you can hit, so you can roll with disadvantage, but 30 feet is your... So you can roll it. You can roll the hit, but with disadvantage. I mean, I'll take it. Yep. I'm just lean over. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> it's not. It lands. Zelfer, as you're landing, you see a, a crossbow bolt land at her at the side of her head as she's starting to get up. And then, uh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, and also, Zelfer, as you're running over, um, you see now a uh. A human female running away the op the other direction in a blue dress, just frightened, running away to the south. Bye, lady. Okay, Percival. Um, I'm trudging back up the stairs. Okay, grumbling to myself. <laughs> You're trudging back up. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. Oh, I fuck that! I'm fucking it down here. God damn it! I hate these fucking stairs. Uh, okay, so you're gonna get to that Percy right. hates stairs. Okay, uh, six. Uh, I jump. Okay. You jump again. We all have time. ways to negate yeah. fall damage. Uh, can you, do, you can do that as many times as you'd like? Yeah, it's just a, it's a, a thing oh. that I naturally do now. Yeah, any falling damage, any, yeah. Okay, so I'll roll again, and we'll see if we get higher than 35 damage. <laughs> hey, Isaac, you know what men's way to negate fall damages? Die. <laughs> Just die. Actually. <laughs> Yet again, you don't take fall damage. You land gracefully next to her. Sweet. Wait, I was going to try to land on her. You land on her as she is, like, coughing yeah. up blood. <laughs> Superhero landing. Superhero landing. Ooh. It's a very soft superhero landing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, uh... uh do, do I use, that's your reaction. Do I anything left? You... That's your reaction. Uh, I punch her in the face. <laughs> you just punch her, are, are you gonna... How many, how many hits? Say again. How many hits? 
Oh, uh, uh, I mean, four of them, I guess. How do you want to do this? Uh, so I land basically on her chest, uh, and then I will just sort of drop an elbow space and just try it around. Okay. Zelfra, you watch right. as, as Six just floats down and then poof into her face and just fucks her up, and she's unconscious. Yep. <laughs> he just bludgeons the fuck out of her, and she is very unconscious. I'm going to take us out of initiative order at this point uh, as the other two have run away out of sight. Uh, uh, the other two? Yeah, the yep. third one that you were talking to. Yeah. Six. I mean, you wouldn't be aware at the moment, but yeah. Yeah. They have run away. All right. And I... Th uh... Go ahead. Yeah. No, uh, that, you, go, you go for it. Okay. Uh, I think uh, with that killing blow, we can leave off for tonight. This is getting a little Holy late. Holy fuck, my tummy is hungry. Yeah. All right.